<laughs> okay. Hi, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. We're live on Facebook because it is... So What's New in Quilting. So What's New in Quilting 2024. So, we have a lot to talk about. And we today. better talk fast. We're going to have to talk fast. <laughs> This is probably going to be about a two-hour broadcast. So, if you're watching this later, and I'm sorry, there was a typo in our listing. It said we were going to start at 1.30, but we're at, it's 9.30. Good morning! <laughs> <laughs> we are going to talk about quilting classes. We're going to talk about other classes that we have coming up. We are talking about new notions, notions new rulers, machines, new machines, uh, all kinds techniques. of new things, new techniques, mm -hmm. and everything to do with quilting. So, we have a, an entire year of classes planned here at the Cotton Blossom. Uh, and we really don't have every single class listed yet, but we have a lot of the classes listed. This is uh, plenty to get you started. Yes. So we've got beginner quilting. We have quilting technique classes. We have free motion quilting classes. And we're going to do some giveaways. Yay. And we have everything on sale. Uh, we, not the fabric, but we are still on sale. The rulers mm -hmm. and the patterns are on sale today. So if you want to sign up for a class, this is your chance to get the pattern and the ruler on sale, right? Right. We have um, Dorinda here. We have Marlo here. We have Brooke here. Uh, Debbie's not here, but she'll be here tomorrow. So this is our virtual presentation. So if you want to come tomorrow, uh, you're welcome to do that. It's $10 and then you get a $10 gift card to the store if you want to come in person. So the same presentation will be tomorrow. So when you are uh, watching this presentation, take notes. Don't navigate away, but take notes and say, oh, I want to do that quilt class, or I want to do that quilt class, or I want to do that one. Write it down, and then we will tell you what ruler you need, what pattern you might need. And what's great is a lot of the rulers will work for a lot of the different quilts. So um, keep it in mind. And then we have a handout. So if you are um, coming into the store later today, you can grab the handout that says what each class is, who's teaching it, the level. We will go over all that today because we have, look at all these classes, front and back, of <laughs> just the classes we're going to talk about today. So let's welcome uh, Dorinda. Come here, Dorinda. Yay! Happy New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. Uh, it is, here, I'll try places so I can drive the mouse. Okay, so you stay in the center. So we have um, at least 12 classes, if not more. At least that we're going to yes. talk about today that you just you are teaching so we have um the we have a january class a february class and then intermixed in there is beginner quilting and intro to piecing and binding and, and paper piecing a new one that we're adding this ah, year. that paper piecing yes we had to add a second session because the first one's already full it's not until march march amazing okay so comment and tell me if you're watching i would love to hear um what you have to say today because uh, you can win. We can win prizes in you comment. So here in a minute, we'll give some, as, through, as we talk, we're gonna be giving away prizes. So comment, so let's say good morning to everyone. Hey Sandra, hey Kathy, hey Debbie, Janice, good morning. Patsy says, good morning ladies, happy new year. Oh, Becky says, hi. Uh, Amy Craig, good morning. Jennifer, hello. Sue, she says, hey there, ladies. Okay. <laughs> oh, look. Hi, Cody. I'm so glad you're watching. Okay, so let's get started because we have so many classes to talk about. So many rulers, so many notions. Mom, you got a new glow ruler to talk about. It's oh, so my cool. gosh. This it is, is cool so thing. cool. It, the, the ruler glows. Yeah. It glows. Okay, so hang tight because you're in for a wild ride. We have <laughs> so much to talk about. Okay, get your pen and paper ready because you're going to want to want sign up classes. for these classes later. Yep. So the very first class uh, for uh, January January is what? Next weekend. Next weekend. Is Strip Twist. Yes. This was a Gudrun Erla design. Mm -hmm. uh, it was originally printed like this, and so... Last year, she did a sew-along, and we added new ruler ideas and updated the whole pattern. Mm -hmm. So you are not only going to begin with her original pattern, but then you're also going to get a handout from me and demonstrations on cutting with the Stripology XL ruler, Ooh. how to cut quarter-inch increments, which yes. is the most amazing demo, and then another way to use the smaller 
uh, Stripology mini ruler, which we used a couple of years ago for our table runner classes yes. as well. So this is marvelous when you're doing Gudrun's table runner classes. But let's talk about strip twists for just a moment. This was originally done with a fabric line called Bubble Up, and I watched, I listened to Kathy call the factory and say, we want more of these, and so they agreed and they printed. So here is Strip Twist made a little bit larger with a full Bubble Up uh, jelly roll. Now we have uh, a few of these left, and one of the reasons that I love it is because the fabric spins. Each block spins, but you're going to learn um, strata, sub cutting and partial seams because these all are built around one little square in the middle so if that's a technique you'd like to learn now if you would like to take the class and the bubble ups are gone never fear we are prepared for you <laughs> there's some gorgeous alternatives. We have some marvelous things that you can fill in with. Here is a texture with a little hashtag on it. Here is a rainbow. I love to teach the ombre as well, and that's part of this mm -hmm. class. Uh, and a way to move right, a way to move through the rainbow, and you can apply those techniques uh, to your other quilts at any time. Of course, then there are also batiks, which are. Oh, that would really be really luscious. 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 luscious to work with. Yes. And Venice has, those of you who sewed with Venice a couple of years ago, they have put out a new sort of upgraded version of the Venice. So um, please Lots consider Strip Twist. You'll learn all sorts of new things. Yes. So that is January. January 12th or 13th. So what's great about a lot of Dorinda classes is there's a Friday option and there's a Saturday option. So if you work, you can come on the Saturday or you can come on the Friday, same class, just one on Friday and one on Saturday. Yep. So if you see like January 12th and 13th, know that it is uh, most likely a same class, two different days. Um, but the five part series, uh, that's obviously one class. It's a series, yeah. right? Yeah. And like hugs and kisses is what she's gonna talk about next. Okay, so right. for February, we have to do yes. some sort of Valentine quilt. Yes. So here is X's and O's, hugs and kisses. Has several different names. Yes. Obviously. X's and O's is hard to spell. <laughs> <laughs> but this is one of the quilts that comes out of the Fast and Fun Lap Quilt book. We try when we ask you to purchase a book to teach three classes out of the book so that makes your purchase worthwhile for you and encourages you to come on to the three classes that are involved here. So this is the book, Fast and Fun Lap Quilts, that has three layer cake quilts that we will be teaching this year. Now I made mine just out of cake scraps and but I wanted to tell you that we have now Finally, I have to make my samples six months ahead of time. You have to understand. But now we have finally gotten in, let me see how to do this, some Valentine fabrics. And there is a whole new line called X's and O's that we ordered six months ago, which is arriving in just four days. So you will have layer cakes that are Valentine themed. If you also are interested in the cave reds, those are wild and fun, serendipitous. You never know where those designs are going to land which is kind of fun. We also have a couple of the Floralicious with the pinks and purples and turquoises, if these are your colors. Now this is sew and flip most of the time, and I will teach you how to use your laser light on your machine if you don't have one. Many times the sew and flip uh, classes we've done in the past, we've had you draw a line and learn to sew and flip that corner over in order to complete your block, but we're going to also introduce a new, mm -hmm, here it is, a little new notion called diagonal seam tape. So this will also help you and we can show you how to put this onto your machine. There you go. So you won't be spending your time in class drawing lots of lines. Once the X's and O blocks are made, there is there are secrets to having your sashings line up both vertically and horizontally that I would like to share. So, we're ready for January and February. That's February 16th and 17th. So, February 16th and 17th is Hugs and Kisses, and that is the X's and O's quilt, right? Yes. Uh, a lot. And so, if you didn't catch that, the 
um, there's more reds and pinks coming in four days. So That's if you right. don't see the fabric that you love in stock, uh, don't worry, it's coming. But here's the thing, all the books and all the rulers are on sale today and tomorrow. So if you want to take this class, you need, this is your chance to get the ruler and the book on sale. Mm -hmm. And so you may see that there's two other quilts that you want to take from the same book, right? But this is February 15th or 16th. And this is what level? This is confident beginner, right, Dorinda? That's right. Confident, confident beginner. beginner. So hugs for and kisses. Both of them, actually. Oh, okay. Yes. Great. Okay. This looks harder than it is. So, so what does that it. mean exactly? Confident beginner. Confident beginner means that you know how to thread your machine. <laughs> you ba have a basic understanding of where your quarter inch seam allowance yes. is. Now I can help you with it, fine tune it if you need to. But that picking up a rotary cutter is not a strange experience for you. Right. So you need ha to have at Just least some dabbled. basic skills. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. If, by chance, picking up a rotary cutter is a strange experience for you, what can you take? <laughs> beginning quilting. Beginning quilting. Yes. Um, Where's our beginning quilting sample? So right back here. Dorinda has taught a beginner quilting series for... The last 100 years now. 10 years. It seems like we have been doing this class for... I know. Many, uh, many years. Many, many years. This is in our old store. So we've been open... Our doors have been open 10 years. So I think this is probably a 10-year-old sample. We have been doing this class. <laughs> and we have churned out the most amazing quilters. Yes. In the state absolutely. Of we only take six, maybe seven in this class so that you get a lot of individual attention. I know there are, I know there are YouTube videos galore out there on how to quilt, but unless you can have someone who can come alongside you and say, you know, you could try this or you could try that and maybe this would You're be right. helpful. Um, I just, we just have found that our, our students love this. You do learn two, two blocks. Let's see, here's one. Do you um, remember Vivian Smith? Yes, that class really is the best, she says. <laughs> there she is. So you learn to cut accurately, piece accurately, press accurately. You learn your basic nine patch construction and then half square triangle units, which are found in almost every pattern that, that's out there now. So there are accurate ways to do this. But not only do you make your blocks, you make the center, you learn how to add borders and binding, Ooh. sleeves, and a label. So you literally go from beginning to end. Plus we have a fabric lecture and we shop together. This quilt has been made in all kinds of fabric collections and it just changes personality no matter what fabrics really that does. you purchase it really for. does it's a great little crib size or hang over the couch or um do you see these points right here i had made quilts before i took this class from dorinda and this would frustrate me to pieces that i couldn't get those to line intersections up. And it would just be ugh. She saw that for me. It, it, it is just amazing. Just well, one I, little thing. I just have a personal testimony that, you know, I started quilting when I was a child, and it took me 20 years to find my quarter-inch seam allowance, which is ridiculous. <laughs> so, I, you know, I always tell everybody, I just want to save you 20 years. Yeah, Let yeah, me save yeah, you 20 it, years. It will, yeah. And so once you get the accuracy, you love sewing so much better. Oh, and your, and your, yeah, you're your so much happier are, with your oh, projects. Absolutely. Yeah. So do you remember so, Diane, Diane recently went through? Oh, Diane, beginning. yes, she absolutely. To, she says beginning quilting was awesome, even for the experienced stitcher. Because so, a lot of times you don't get the basics. Right. That's right. And right. so we just sort of, in fact, I have to, I'm going to call out Elaine Obert. She's been taking our monthly classes because uh -huh. she works yeah. full time. Mm -hmm. She's been taking a monthly class now for a year. And she has now decided that starting next week, she's going to start taking some of her vacation time. And she's going to come to beginning quilting. Nice. <laughs> to, to catch back up on the basics. So. Right. So that is, that's a great point because it is a, it's during the week. Right. And it's a five-part series. Five-part series, uh, nine about nine yes. to twelve thirty, mm -hmm. nine to one. Mm -hmm. It's five classes in the store, and then a field trip out to my house Fine. to see how a long arm works. Fine. And so we, you get to be buddies. You know, the girls who come to this class become friends. Mm -hmm. They they love to sign up and sew together. Yes, even further yeah. down the road. I will tell you that um, our January class is already full. Yes. So. If you are interested in this, our next class begins in February. Please call the store, yes. and we can we start our next series on February, February 20th. 20th. This is a class that runs all year long, mm -hmm. and 
truthfully, we, we turn out about six or seven brand new quilters every, every time the class happens. And so if you are interested, also you can check past posts out of Cotton Blossom Fabrics and you can see the class graduation picture. Yes. And even though everybody's sewing with the same pattern, when you use different fabrics, you get a totally it's different completely, outcome. It's wild how they look completely different. So Brenda even, Brenda Cranfield, loved beginner quilting. There the she best is. class. Yes. Uh, there's an overwhelming response, um, usually Do for beginner Do you want to talk about intro while I'm here. Sure. Okay, let's briefly if you talk. Cannot, yes. If you cannot come to the five-part series, mm -hmm. we do have a one-day class called Intro to Piecing. Mm -hmm. And, um, Brooke, could you? It is you? just a one-day workshop. So it's three, not the five-part series that Dorinda does. And you, you don't make us with five-part series, you make a quilt from start to finish, right? But then this is just a one-day. You make a, a block a and block. you learn how to make a block, a series of blocks. We talk about how they all go together. This is our... Um, class sample. Yes. It is Town Square from Easy Peasy Quilts, and we do have the patterns available. This is one day. You do learn the basics. I will tell you, though, this is a marvelous fast quilt as, as a gift or a charity quilt, and I did go nuts this year <laughs> and made a number of those for some ministries, okay. local ministries. But then, of course, I just got hooked by the cowboy fabric. So Robin said Please. I needed to show this one. Well, I love it. It's the same so pattern. So this is the same pattern, uh, but with the cowboy print. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Oh, it may be upside down, but she quilted oh, it is uh, upside down. horseshoes into it. This is probably my favorite quilt you've ever done. That's I because just, of the horses. It's the horseshoes. Yeah. It's the horses. But this can be done with patriotic fabrics or Christmas uh -huh. or anything. But anyway, being a one-day class, for those of you who work and cannot do the five-part series, you have the date on that, I believe. I don't have it. Oh, okay. Uh, intro to quilt piecing is later in the year, so let's find out when intro to quilt piecing. That is April the 6th. April there the 6th. Go. That will fill. That will. It always fills. But it's a Saturday workshop, so that's a little bit longer day. But mm -hmm. we have a pizza joint right next door, so we're good. Everybody goes to pick up pizza next door. All right. Hey, Terry. I see Terry's watching. Janice um, says, "I have truly learned a lot from Dorinda." Oh, so true. Uh, everybody. Um, okay. So, and then Cody says, "That's where I started. First quilting. Everyone needs this class." Yeah. 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 <laughs> true that. Elizabeth says, "Love the X's and O's." Yeah, we do too. It's fun, isn't it? Okay. Um, we, I want you to show the glow ruler real fast. Do you have a chance? Do you yeah. have a second to yeah. talk about yeah. this? Yeah. Let's do it. Before we go any further, we're, we have a lot more classes to talk about, so y'all hang on. Uh, but this is, uh, brand new. Okay. So this is so what's new in quilting. And this is a new thing. In fact, most shops don't even have this yet. We ordered them long ago before they even came out. Mm -hmm. So we got the first shipment. Mm -hmm. This is called the glow ruler. Yes. And it has a light in it. So let me show you how that works. Now, okay. what's the biggest challenge that we have as we get older as quilters? Our sight. <laughs> Seeing. And so most rulers look just like this. Mm -hmm. They have the lines printed on there. Mm -hmm. But in uh, low lighting or with difficult fabrics, it becomes difficult to see those lines on your fabric. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. You see that? I mean, you can see it. But you're struggling a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. All right, watch this. Finger on the right place. You're trying to hold the bolt. <laughs> at least giving you a piece of fabric instead of the whole bolt, right? Yeah, what do you think? All right, Okay. boom. Do you see that? Those lines are illuminated now. So if I... <laughs> That's our studio audience. Yeah, sure. <laughs> If I want to find, if I want to fussy cut, let's say this rabbit, I yes. have to. Um, I can so easily put the ruler right over the rabbit. Put it and, under the camera here and see exactly where the lines go. Ooh, what a difference! Okay, let's get rid of me. me get the uh, there. Okay, so you're fussy right, cutting, so I'm you can fussy see. Fussy cutting the rabbit. I can get it perfectly lined up. Let's say I want the rabbit in a three and a half inch square. Ah. So there he is. And I've got my quarter Very inch cool. seams already marked on the side. So I know I'm going to have enough allowance for that. It, it just makes you go zoop, 
zoop, and then you turn the ruler and zoop, zoop again, and you have a perfect three and a half inch square with your bunny right smack in the middle. Yep. Okay, let's see how Betty that goes. Betty Bain says, I could use a glow ruler. You need to get one. Yes. All right, let's look at, what about light fabric? How does it work on light colored fabric, you might ask. All right, let's say that I want to cut out the fire hydrant. Mm -hmm. This is that great Tula fabric with oh, all the Tula besties. Tula pink. This is besties. It's got dogs and hamsters and all kinds of cute right. stuff. Okay. Can you see the lines on the white fabric? Is There's a glare awesome. from our... our um, our overhead light, which you can, there you go. Well, I kind of still see the glare. There we go. Now you can see yeah, it. It's hard to so see on camera, but it is really bright in person. If I want to do a three and a half inch block here, look how perfectly I can line it up and then cut, cut, and then turn it and cut again. <clears throat> Did you and use the word fussy cutting yet? Fussy cutting. That's what we're doing is yes. fussy cutting. And that's what this ruler is awesome for is fussy cutting because with other rulers you just can't see your lines as well so we're in love with the glow ruler it comes with a little usb there's my little thing comes with a, a usb cord. it comes with a little cord and you can plug it into any usb box. oh so it's rechargeable it is rechargeable oh here look under there. the camera mm -hmm. can there. you show the camera all right, so this is it's rechargeable, so it doesn't require batteries. Mm -hmm. It's it's very bright. I don't know if you can see. It is it's super cool. Okay, it's, it's made for old eyes. <laughs> Do we know how much this is? It's on sale. It is and we on probably sale. can't advertise um, a lot of the stuff. We can't necessarily say how much it is because we it, it, we've got it lower than we're allowed to sell it. Right. So just know that it's on sale, and there's the link in this listing. I mean, in this video, don't navigate now, but here in a minute, you can click the link and it will take you to our website where everything's on sale, right? Right. And the classes, there's a link to all the classes as well, but wait to navigate to those. But just a quick reminder, you will want to, um, we'll go ahead and talk about free motion next, but you'll want to go ahead and sign up for the um, uh, quilting classes as soon as possible. These are going to go fast. They will fill. And mm -hmm. so, Especially strip twist. Strip Twist, which is uh, January 12th and 13th, mm -hmm. it's almost full. Mm -hmm. And there's just a few of the uh, of these jelly rolls. We have held back the jelly roll for this class if you want to do this. Um, but there's obviously, like she said, there's other options. But you want to get signed up ASAP if you want to do that. Okay, right. Brooke, fly over here and let's quickly talk about... Brooke has some fun classes. Yay! Yay! We, we should do our studio. <laughs> we have um, Brooke here who is a master free motion quilter. And she probably would disagree with me, but she's amazing. So you should come see some of the free motion quilting that she does on her domestic flatbed machine. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. So people have been saying, please teach me how to do that. I'm so, happy to. So... <laughs> she has solved that pain point for so many people. Free motion quilting, I think, is hard. It takes practice. It's practice, it isn't it? It takes practice. Yes. And so you can't learn it in one day, can you? No. No. So what have you done? I have designed a five-week course that we're going to, you're going to piece your blocks at home, and you're going to bring them back to, to class, and we're going to sandwich a practice quilt sandwich and, and play on it. Yes. And then we're going to do it actually on your block. Okay. And then all your blocks will come together into one quilt. And you're not going to be trying to wrestle an entire quilt under your machine when you're learning how to free motion quilt. And let's, you will give us a sneak preview you. of what you're going to do here in just a second. Sure. So that is a five-part series because mm -hmm. you can't learn to free motion quilt in one no. sitting. But you do That's need to know how to quilt, right? That. That yes. is. Let's hold up her quilt. Here. Yes. Ooh. Ah. <laughs> this <laughs> is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the colors that you chose, Brooke. So tell tell us a little about about the squares. Okay. So all the blocks are out of the Vintage Farm Girl book, and I chose them because they are different patterns. They're um, a little different techniques. There's one that we're gonna do that's similar to the strip twist, where it's a a Y seam inset kind of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to learn how to do some scroll work. Some a lot of the what I'm going to be teaching is um, 
Let's see if we can get it in a little bumps. Bump, bump to bump on your like an orange peel. Bumps. We've got a. So you'll explain what that means. Yeah. Okay. Good. And we've got some um, stippling, mm -hmm. and a little bit of weight. Stippling is here, mm -hmm. and on this one here, a little bit of free mo, just free wavy line. You're not using the the serpentine stitch on your machine to get that. Mm -hmm. Just the mm -hmm. free line. Some echoing, and what you're gonna do is we're gonna you're gonna create three blocks at home. And then you're going to come back, we're going to practice, we're going to quilt them, and I'm going to teach you the technique of this pieced and ragged, pieced and frayed technique to, to put it all together. And it's a useful technique, not just for these kind of blocks, but you can use it for a lot of other things, too, to make pull a quilt together. Yes. Okay, so this can be done, I mean, if you've got a long arm machine obviously mm -hmm. you can't bring it to class but you will need a machine to bring to class to practice yes. on right yeah, absolutely um so if you've got a free motion um, machine any machine technically can do free motion as we... long as you can drop the feed dogs mm -hmm. you can do free motion okay so the bigger the throat space the better yes right absolutely because you gotta be easier able... and that's one of the reasons why we're teaching this with uh -huh. the smaller blocks yes where you only have a 16 inch block that's going under your throat space mm -hmm. And you're, so you're not going to be wrestling the entire quilt. So your homework is to create this block at home. So you do need to know how to quilt. Yes, you do need to know how to piece. To piece. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so you'll make this at home and you'll bring this to class. Yes. And y'all will practice on some practice fabric. Mm -hmm. And then you will do the real deal, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. And we'll, we'll help you pick it out. with the, Some of this fabric is still here. Okay. Um, Debbie came in yesterday and picked out some gorgeous fabric pinks and uh, peaches. And, for this class? Yes, for this class. Okay. And so this book uh, is what you will need because mm -hmm. there's lots of things in here. And this book is per that has the perfect directions to do the piecing. Uh -huh. it's, it, there's not mistakes. You know, you follow the directions and it's there. So this is your instructions for piecing. Mm -hmm. And you will show how to do the free motion quilting. Yep. Um, these are back ordered, but they're on sale. <laughs> So you can still get them. You've got to come in. Like if we sell out online, it's okay because you can come in and still get the sale price today or tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure when the sale goes through. It may go through a few more days so that people online watching this later can still. But you can come in and we can do a special order form and you can get this book on sale. So you'll want to go ahead and come mm -hmm. get this book. And um, there's less, there's a lot of supplies for this class, right? Yes, And a so lot. same with beginner quilting. There are a lot of supplies needed for this class. Therefore, we are giving a discount on the supplies for the fabric and everything yeah. for this class, for this quilt, yep. because it's a lot. But it not is. fabric on any other classes. No, the, but this one in beginner quilting, we do do a discount yeah. on, the on the fabric and the notions. Yeah. So um, come in and ask for your discount code when you come sign up for this class, because we will give you um, a coupon code. Let, let's just caveat that with uh, we're not cutting fabric for the next two days because we're so Oh, yeah. Busy. Well, we will still cut fabric, but just during the presentation tomorrow, we won't be able because we'll all be in here at the presentation tomorrow. <laughs> but well, you're welcome to come in and we'll um, just not after the today, this afternoon, you can come in. Yeah, yeah we'll tomorrow cut afternoon, right after the presentation, mm -hmm. we'll have 50 people. Yeah, so we may not be cutting fabric tomorrow, but rest assured, we, we will get you your book and we will get you your fabric. That starts when? February 15th. 15th. That's coming up fast. It is. Really fast. So, and there's only three seats left. Yeah. Yeah. So your name on there. We, there's wait lists for all these classes. Mm -hmm. So if it, the class fills, you can still go and add yourself to the wait list. Yep, go on. Very important because... Um, if you put yourself on the wait list, it's possible we'll add a second session or we'll, when the next one comes up, we it'll, will call you. It'll roll. You can mm -hmm. be yeah. on the list. Okay. So you set up, we're going to let, we have the new accomplished too. So I'm going to play a video okay. and you grab the accomplished too. Brooke's going to actually show some of the stuff that she is going to teach. Before you switch teach. off the camera, can we yes. talk about these quilt clamps? Because they are so perfect oh, for free yes. motion quilting. And these are on sale. Yes. These are giant, they're called jumbo quilt clamps. Like they're giant magic clips. Look at that. <laughs> this is nuts. <laughs> and they are strong. Yeah. Super right. strong. Now, why would you want these? Well, I think perfect for free motion quilting. Watch me roll up the edge of this quilt right here. Oh, I should move the camera over then. Huh? No, I'll get it up there. Just a second. See, I'm rolling it up. Rolling it up, yes. And then I'm going to take these clamps and... Put on the edge. My hands are almost not strong enough. There we go. 
Aha. Uh -huh. This is what you want if you are what? Free motion quilting. Free motion quilting. So you don't have the whole length of the quilt dragging off of your machine. You know, a lot of people mm -hmm. do um, quilting in the hoop. Yes, with their embroidery machine. With their embroidery machine. Mm -hmm. But you do not want the weight of the quilt pulling on the embroidery arm. So this right. would roll it up and keep it on top of your mm -hmm. tabletop so yeah. that it's not pulling on the embroidery arm. Or the needle if you're just straight free motion quilting. Yes. These now we have a, um, a weightless quilter that's really good for him, for both. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we have two different types of weightless quilters. I think we sold out of the ones that suspend from the floor but there's a weightless quilt that suspends from the table Hooks to the table and that will hold your quilt up, up. It pinches it and holds it up mm -hmm. but if you don't have that this is a great second option for just about anybody if you're even if you're sewing and you've got your quilt you know rolled up the heaviness <clears throat> falling off your table roll it up and it sits on top of the table and slides so much easier how much are these Let's see. They they're are on regularly ten forty nine a piece, and and they're on sale. Let me get my list. Do you get? Is it one quilt clamp, or do you get all? Oh of no, them? you get a box of them. There's six oh, in a box. There's six to a box. So oh, very cool. So you get a whole box of these adorable colors. So just dropped one. That's okay. Okay, so you get pink and blue and green. So those are on sale. Uh, you can add those to your cart. I guarantee you those will sell They're $9.44 on sale. Okay, on sale. Great. That's a deal. Super. Okay, so the new Accomplish 2 is what um, uh, Brooke has been doing her free motion quilting. So we had the Accomplish, the Baby Lock Accomplish, before. It is a straight stitch machine. It does w one thing, or did one thing really well. Now it does more because it is the Accomplish 2. So let me show you a quick video on the Accomplish 2 while she gets that set up because the Accomplish 2 really is a brand new, a whole different ball game. So let's Let's watch this quick little video if I can get it to play. Accomplish 2. Whether it's for the runway or the everyday, the new Baby Lock Accomplish 2 is the ultimate fashion forward sewing and quilting machine. Let your creativity take flight with the power to straight stitch at 1500 stitches per minute. And Accomplish 2 gives you the freedom to sew on just about anything with flawless stitches every time. Its innovative pin feed system helps you manage a variety of fabrics, from delicate silks to thick denims, and everything in between. The heavyweight thread guide makes it easy to sew with decorative threads that help bring your creative visions to life. And the attachment plate helps you add the finishing touches to any project. And that's only the beginning. Your Baby Lock Accomplish 2 comes with so much more. When you bring home your Baby Lock machine, you're immersing yourself in a community of endless inspiration. You'll enjoy hands-on retailer support, exceptional customer service, invitations to our exclusive online communities, and access to hundreds of free projects and inspiration. Plus, receive a 60-day trial of our online sewing classes with access to over 1,000 videos to help you grow your skills and stretch your creative muscle. So much more than just a machine, the Baby Lock Accomplish 2 will empower your imagination. So there's no limit to what you can create. Very fun. All right, let me get back to our main camera here. Okay, so that's the new Accomplish 2. So it just came out. Uh, oops. I don't need <laughs> ads from YouTube. Thank you, YouTube. <laughs> okay, so this new Accomplish 2, uh, Linda Pacini, who's the head educator at um, uh, Baby Lock, uh, by far this is her favorite machine. And so she said, we did not get them, and they were released in um, you know, September, October, but we didn't get them. They didn't show up in our door until October, November. So this is brand new. Uh, let me show um, a picture of the Accomplish 2. So... We've had the Accomplish 1, this is the Accomplish 2, and it is a workhorse, okay? So it can um, sew through the heavier weight fabrics. It is meant to get through the tougher stuff, but it has this wonderful uh, throat space that's a bigger throat space. And so, Brooke, tell us about how this is good for free motion quilting. It, it gives you the room to for it, and it has this wonderful table mm -hmm. that allows you to support what you're working on nice so these are about the size of the blocks that we'll be doing with the free motion class okay so in order to start pull your thread up 
from the bottom. Put your foot down. It's a little bit of getting used to if you're used to your auto foot up and auto foot down and needle up and needle down kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Go really fast, you can go really slow. And this is some of the things I'll talk about. Oops, see, I got a bobble there. That's all right. See right here I have the hash mark. And that's my 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 center point. So I know where I'm crossing. Oh, so you marked on the fabric. I did. Friction pens are wonderful. Now here I didn't mark. I know where I'm going. I'm going to do bumps around my circle, around the squares. Orange peels, bumps. And there, we got back to the front. Oh, that's so cool. Not exactly the most even part, but standing up and free motioning is a whole different ball game. <laughs> that is really <laughs> impressive that you talked and stood and free motioned. <laughs> All at the same time. All at the same time. That's impressive. And this table is, we're standing, so she's not sitting, <laughs> and she's sewing standing up. So that looks amazing, by the way, uh, for, <laughs> so the accomplished two, so that is the free motion foot for the accomplished two. So mom, what do you know about the accomplished two that's different than the accomplished one? Well, the thing that excited me about it when this machine came out was the ability to do attachments on the bed of the machine. Mm -hmm. That was a thing Baby Lock really improved oh, on a, a couple of oh, yeah. uh, machines this year. They made it so that you can do attachments mm -hmm. on the serger doing four thread overlock. Never been able to do that. And they made this machine with a, a, a place, a plate in the bed of the machine where you can put binding attachments and fellers and hemmers just so fun stuff. Would you hand me that that piece of fabric? Right. This is this is the type of binding you can put on with an attachment like this. Sew it to the bed, put your strip in that little slot right there, and it comes out the back folded and stitched down to your fabric, just like that. That's revolutionary to me. These are formerly only serger and sashiko attachments. Now you can use your regular sewing machine, the accomplished sewing machine, to, to use this. The other thing that this machine has new for this year is the ability to do heavier weight threads. So there's an extra, um, like a pin, uh, not a pin, uh, a finger that allows you to thread heavyweight threads through here. So again, it's like you can use the heavy threads that you used to use in your serger. Now you can use them to do decorative techniques on your sewing machine. Because of the new thread guide right. that allows for de heavier, heavier weight thread. Decorative type threads. <clears throat> so this, this is a game changer as far as I'm concerned for this machine. Love it. And it is called the Accomplished 2. So Amy was asking... Uh, wait, the Accomplish is a serger, right? Mm -mm. No, she's thinking about the Accolade. Mm -mm. Yeah, the Accolade is an eight-thread serger. Uh, and so this is the Accomplish. It is a straight-stitch machine. Yes, straight-stitch only, no zigzag, no decorative stitches, but it mm -hmm. is a workhorse of a straight-stitch machine. Yes. I mean, it goes 100 miles an hour and makes the most beautiful stitches. Heavy does it have a single hole float It does. It does have a single hole float, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... And that's one thing that Jorinda, the single hole throat space, as she reminded us, uh, a single hole throat plate is one thing that she requires for the beginner quilters because it no she knows it's gonna you're going to have a much more positive experience. There's so many things that Dorinda recommends, um, at, like the rulers and the books, because she knows you will have a more, much more positive experience. So no, she recommends it. Dorinda gets zero commission. Brooke gets zero commission off the stuff that they recommend, but they know that it will um, – enhance your quilting experience. And the reason why Dorinda has culled the the rotary cutters and the rulers because she's tried them all. 
right? And, and, and the patterns, she's tested them all. Tested them all and, and rewrote most of them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so if you come to class, know that you, I guarantee you she will have rewritten something, some part of it because she says, well, that's too confusing. Here's how we're going to make it easier. It goes faster this way. Yeah, yeah. This is better if we do it this way. Almost 100% of the time. Uh, and so that is one thing that she just mentioned, the single needle hole Plates, single plate. hole throat. Because if you're plate. doing, and I learned this from Dorinda, if you're doing little tiny seams and quarter inches a pretty tiny seam, it's very easy for that little bit of fabric to get shoved down mm -hmm. into the usual shaped hole mm -hmm. in your stitch plate. Mm -hmm. And then you got to take the stitch plate off and pull it all out. Mm -hmm. But when there's a tiny little hole, that thread, that fabric doesn't get shoved down in there and you can right. zoom on. Right. Yes. Okay. So this machine does have that. Because all it is, is a straight stitch machine. That's right. I hate to say all it is. It does a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, it does a lot. Uh, it is on sale for, I think it's eleven ninety nine. dollars well, I should have checked that. <laughs> but it is It is a really excellent price point it really for is. all that it does. It really is. Uh, really. And, and let's also mention heavyweight fabrics. Canvas, leather, mm -hmm. those kinds of things. This, hand, this machine is strong enough, has enough horsepower mm -hmm. to handle things like that. Yes, yes. But earlier, Dorinda mentioned the light, and she ma briefly mentioned, so when we're doing uh, this quilt over here, she recommends this um, uh, having a laser light. And so if you've got a laser light on your machine, it will be very helpful. So what is a laser light? Is there one on here? There's not. The, the accomplished dude does not have a laser light, but like the chorus and the crescendo in the Altair and the Solaris all have a laser light that shines down, and I'll just show you where on the machine. It's on the bed of the machine. This one doesn't have it, no. but there would be a light that shines down to the show uh, where your seam should be. It's amazing. And it moves from side to side, so yes. you can get your perfect quarter inch alignment. So I just wanted to show on there what it would, where it would be, but um, if you've got that machine, don't bring your travel machine. You want to bring your Chorus or your Altair or your Solaris because of that laser light. That laser light's wow. amazing. It's amazing. I, I, so I let, to, come in and let us show that to you. If you don't have one, it'll completely change your quilting experience. My first machine that I bought from us. <laughs> <laughs> I, got a, I told I her got, I would give her a good deal. I got a good price. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, oh, I don't need that laser light. This is a great, this is the best machine I've ever owned. I'm going to love it. And I did. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Every time I got ready to make quilt binding, I would bring my binding up to the store and put it on the machine that had the laser, laser light, light because it lined it up perfectly and yeah. I didn't have to do diagonal marks and it just, bzz, bzz, bzz. Anyway, yes. you'll love a laser. So, uh, but if you want um, a simple straight stitch fancy machine, you got the accomplished too, right? A workhorse. Yes. yes. Okay, so Brooke is going to do another class, but this one's in March. So we're skip. We've done January and February, uh, and we are going to skip over to March. I cannot believe we're only on March. We have so much to talk about. We've oh, got to hurry. Get going. We have so much to talk about. Okay, so Hearts of Bloom. So this can be a seasonal quilt, but um, let's show how fun this is. Let's do. How about this one first? Oh, All right, Brooke, come on over here and tell us an about... An example of here, her gorgeous okay. free motion quilting <laughs> this on this. This is done. Look at Look this. Look at that. That's amazing. Gorgeous. <laughs> okay, so tell us about this quilt. The Hearts of Loom is a technique class. Mm -hmm. We're not learning quilting on it, and you're going to be trusted to do the nine patch piecing at home. Mm -hmm. So it's we're learning smooth edge applique and how, how to make a shape which in this case is a heart and attaching it and making a, a so sweet it. little <laughs> lap quilt or wall hanging or baby quilt from it. it so is, this is applique on here, is, is that applique. right? It is and, and you make your four patch. I can see now how yep. it's built. You make the four, four patch. patch. I call Six, this the heart nine patch. Nine, nine patch. Nine patch, yes. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Just make yeah. it up. As like I I I'm, I'm calling this the heart hump because I don't know what else to call it. Yeah. But it is. I'm making it the pat. I, I've, I'm writing the patterns. So. It's like a half circle and you yeah. just attach it on the top of the mm -hmm. nine patch. Yeah. Yep. And and that we will do in class, but you ha you come to class with your nine patches done. Right. <laughs> right. This is why I'm, I'm calling it these. My, most of my classes are intermediate because yes. 
I'm expecting you to be able to peace at home. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's a big deal. <gasps> yes. Yes. <laughs> but I know you all peace at home anyway. Yes. You make quilts all by yourselves. So yeah. You can do it. You, you can, can do, do it. it. So. So you but, come homework done before this class. Yeah. Now, is this the same class? This. The, yes. This is the net. This is look. another colorway. Oh, how fun. And the hearts, the small hearts have, are shamrock instead of. Instead of hearts. Instead of hearts. So okay. same class, same techniques. You just choose a color what, way. what color way you'd like to do. See, yeah. there's four hearts in this one for this this part right here. There are four hearts. And this one, one of the hearts becomes a stem for the shamrock. Yep. Yes. And we'll discuss placement and how to get them placed just exactly so. And on the pink one, you'll see the, the binding is the faux flange binding. And I'll give you directions for to do that too. Ooh, oh, fun. fun <laughs> okay, so Brooke has written this pattern herself, and so we will sell the pattern. Uh, we just don't have those yet, do we? No. Okay, so that's coming, <laughs> uh, but you'll need a 6 inch by 24 inch ruler and a 12 inch seam guide, so those are on sale uh, right now. So if you want supplies for this quilt class, get them on sale. So that, this what is, is, what is that? This is what I'm calling the 12 inch seam guide. It's basically when you're placing the hearts you need something to put, to, to hold, I'm backwards, hold the space. Okay. So you can have the exact space between the hearts. So that's what I'm using this for. I it's see. Ingenious, yeah. Yes. Things that make your quilting easier, more, uh, much more pleasant experience. Let me see that one more time. Which, more. This one? So oh. that's March the 9th. That is March the 9th. This is the Fonz and Porter quarter inch seam marker. Yes. There are two of them in here, a short one and a long one. Oh, those are oh, great yeah. for half square triangles. So if you have a laser light on your uh, chorus or crescendo or Altera Solaris and you've got these, you can make some half square triangles. <laughs> Becky says, love the laser light. Yes, we all do. That's on the chorus, the crescendo. The crescendo has been discontinued, but it's on the chorus and the Altair 2 now. And, and the, the Solaris, Solaris Vision, yes. yes, yes, which is on sale. We have one event Solaris left. So if you're interested in a sewing, quilting, and embroidery and IQ designer machine, it does it all. We have one event machine left, and so it is on super duper sale. And you need to come see Robin because I've been hearing her talk about the price on that, and I'm even a little shocked. Yes. So yeah, it's a good <laughs> deal. <laughs> I'll make you a great deal on that that baby it needs to find a new home uh okay so chinese lanterns what is that dorinda what is chinese lanterns i'm excited about well, this one i i really am too um we've had through the years many 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 requests on please teach me how to paper piece mm -hmm. and so paper piecing is a technique that's a little bit like upside down backwards from regular sewing mm -hmm. you can get the hang of it it's okay we have tricks but we've looked and looked for years for a good resource and a pattern that's affordable and makes a piece that's not too big mm -hmm. to handle. Let's make sure our little creatures are, are right side oh. up. Because I spent a long time fussy There's cutting those little, little hibernation <laughs> Little beds. animals yeah. in here. Little animals hiding. But anyway, Alex Anderson has come up with a book called Paper Piecing. And the Chinese Lanterns is the last project in the book. It uh, It is the simplest one that can teach you angles and fine lines. And so we will make a large and a small, hopefully in class. And then once you know how to paper piece, we're going to go our, make our way through this book and talk about tips to make other designs and how that can uh, be successful. So I am, act, I am really thrilled about this. And we used the tilde, uh, we used a jelly roll. So you can use any jelly roll that you like. If you've got a contrast in, um, yeah, it is upside down, isn't it? If you what have a contrast, is this? This, this is, is Tilda hibernation. 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 I know I want to give this as a baby quilt so badly. Oh, it's but um, anyway, the it was fun to fussy cut some of the little animals. And the use of the jelly roll, you see you use the jelly roll not just for your lanterns, but also for your... Um, because it's sort of a border. border. Key border. It's a piano key border and binding. There was enough left in the jelly roll to do binding as well. Yeah. So all you need is a jelly roll, background, a book. Now, paper piecing does require some rather odd tools. Yeah. There's, uh, let me see. There's a lot. 
that goes with the Chinese I know. Angels. Paper piece, and you feel like you need to go to a hardware store or something to get started. You need a glue stick, you know, you need a pen, mechanical pencil. You need tweezers. Special, tweezers. 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 Yeah, yeah. And these add a quarter rulers, which this is the 6 inch and this is the 12 inch. I would recommend both. A heavy duty postcard or piece of template plastic. Um, anyway, it's all on the supply list, but I must tell you that I am I am so excited about this. This class is already almost full in yeah. March, yeah. and I think this is one that we will probably do again. Well, we already what? have it on the calendar guess again. Guess what? Yes. Yeah, so yes. there's only like, <laughs> okay. I think there's only two seats left in the March Whoa. 16th class. So we added one for May the 10th. So May 10th will fill up. I know it's a long way off. If you want paper piecing, you better sign up now. But okay. paper piecing is a really wonderful way to be exact with fine points, mm -hmm. tiny little seams that you can just not do with regular piecing. Mm -hmm. And a lot of my ribbon winners through the years and my international ribbons and things have been paper piecing. And so I'm actually going to indulge just a little bit and pull those quilts off the shelf and bring a few yes. of those so you can be inspired to do it yourself. Fine. So, so that is, piecing. and that's a more of a uh, intermediate class. You kind of need to know a little bit about sewing, yes. quilting. Yes. 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 Uh, so as far as it, the year kind of progresses, so January, um, t this is uh, Strip Twist. It's Confident Beginner. Uh, Hugs and Kisses, Confident Beginner. Uh, this gorgeous quilt over here is Brooke's class. It is full. I'm sad to say that this, this, um, you know, this is you snooze, you lose, because this class filled up fast. So if you want classes, you better sign up. This is, is this not, we still have the fabric for this. So if you want to come do it, it is uh, absolutely one of my favorite um, patterns. What pattern is this, Brooke? It's just the strings. It's, it's just strings. Have, it just came out of your head. Yeah. You don't I'm have so to impressed. have a pattern for a string. Oh, well. you don't? No. It shows you what I know. <laughs> <laughs> It's, oh, she just chop. You just chop up the layer. It's layer built cake. on a square. Okay. And you just sew those strips one after another. Slip, flip, stitch, flip, stitch. Oh. Iron it down, and then they go together like on the diagonal, and it looks like this is the block. Okay, love that. So that's a class that is full. I'm sorry to say. So if you want classes, you got to get in quickly. This is the layer cake that she used. This is not the cutest thing you've ever seen. Okay, so this is um, picture perfect. We still have a few of these left. Uh, and you're welcome to put yourself on the wait list for that class if you want it, because it's possible she may do it again. Or somebody or might drop out. Another. Or do a different yeah. version. Some people, you know, can't make it and they drop out and you could take a space. So. Oh, yeah, that's good. So could people get sick? So we, we could call you and say, come, you can come today. Right. Oh, fun. Okay, let's do a quick giveaway before we go any further. Oh, yeah. wait, did we finish talking about Chinese lanterns? Okay, yes. so, yeah, we've had the confident beginner, and then Brooks classes are more intermediate, and this paper piecing class is kind of a more um, advanced beginner intermediate class, right? Okay, Taffy is the next step up. It's intermediate to advanced, and we'll talk about that for, we'll talk about that next. Yes. Taffy's gorgeous, but we, the machine. we need to do a giveaway. I'm sorry, I've not done a giveaway yet. Okay. Uh, okay, so for those of you that have commented, you are smart, smart people, okay? So pick a number, Marlo, between 1 and 10. 3. 1, 2, 3. Roxanne Land Trip. Oh, Yay! She's coming to Beginning Quilting on Tuesday. Oh, really? Yep. Fun! Well, you just won a gorgeous gold scissor set, Roxanne. Um, and she, she was asking, what is the date of the class? Whoops, I missed that, so I'm not sure... Um, which class? Which class? So let's quickly talk about Chinese Lanterns is March 16th, and Hearts of Bloom is March the 9th, and uh, Hugs and Kisses is February 16th and 17th. So she's probably asking about paper piecing. Is that right? And all the classes are on our calendar. Go to our website, yes. click on classes, and scroll through the calendar, January, February, March, and you will see them all listed. Click on the listing. It will take you to a registration page. Pay your money. Get in the class. <laughs> I you are do, good. Okay, so I will do a quick, let's take a quick segue now. We've done, we're going to do some more giveaways, so hang tight. And we put Roxanne's name on that. You are so good because I'll forget. Uh, so Roxanne's coming to Beginner Quilting. Who, well, isn't that great? Okay, so coming to Tuesday is our next session. It's full, uh, but there's a new session in February. 
Um, okay, so let me do a quick segue over to our website. So check a look, take a look at our website. I'm going to go here. Not that. Not YouTube. Yeah. Okay, so let me go to our website. So here's the home page of our website, right? All right, so can you all see that? All right, so when you see this classes tab, do you see here there's the calendar, and then you see quilting classes 2024. Amy, fabulous Amy, has uh, put all of the classes on one page. Now, of course, you've got our regular calendar. You can go to the calendar and find the pages. But look, 2024 quilting classes at the Cotton Blossom. All right, beginner quilting is up at the top. So intro to quilt piecing, uh, binding, finish that quilt, um, schedule for update coming soon. So we've got January, February, February, uh, March, April, uh, March, March, April. So look at all these classes. We, sneak peek. This is what we're going to talk about here in just a minute. So look at all these classes. So all the quilting classes are on here on, on one our page. one page. But then you can always navigate to our regular calendar. See when you hit when you cover over classes, you hit calendar. If you're on your phone, you need the, to use the arrows left and right to get between the months. But do you see how many classes we have in January? Almost every single day. We're closed on Sundays and Mondays. That's the only reason why we have blank spaces on our calendar. <laughs> January is almost completely full with classes. February is almost completely full with classes, and then March is almost completely full with classes. So go to our calendar when you get a chance and um, uh, take a look at all the fun stuff that we have going on in 2024. A lot. It's a lot. Yes. All right, so we need to talk about Taffy. So Taffy was a class that we had on the schedule for November of last year, mm -hmm. but we could not get the ruler. The ruler is brand new. Yes. So it was backward, so we had to move Taffy. So if you sign up for Taffy and you still want to do it, you now have the chance because we were, we couldn't get the ruler. It's so cool. It's this is hot the off ruler. The presses. All right, Dorena, tell us about Taffy. This okay. is where you, your big prints come to play. Yes. Now you will have to tell me the name of this fabric line. I can't remember the Tula. Tula Pink. This Not was... Besties. This is because if you hadn't asked me, I could have told you. This one we made last year, and yes. so we used the safari prints. You know, it was the lions and, and um, elephants and hippos and such. So the reason that I love this quilt and wanted to teach it is because you have an opportunity for twelve in a 12 and a half inch square to fussy cut a little bit of some of these really fun prints that are out there nowadays. And um, if we don't have any more of this line, we have a brand new line. Everglow. Everglow. We have a brand new line of Tilda fabric. Tula. Tula, excuse me. Called Besties. Called Besties, and it's all the pets. So it's... Um, Just what I was showing a yes. minute ago with the... So we've got cats, dogs, fish. That's where these and, big prints would yes. come to play. So that's where those... Oh, goodness. Look at the fire hydrants. I just saw and that. the Boston Terrier and the funny. Poodle and the Dalmatian. <laughs> Can you imagine uh, She's got a cats in every family. square? It would be so yes. cute. Yes, right? absolutely. But also, if you'll notice, these are all straight lines, but there is an optical illusion of a circle. So I love to um, play with optical illusions and such. We've simplified the pattern a little bit so that you just have the three prints rather than four or so. But um, what I want to show you on this is this is a new ruler and I know that sometimes yes. sometimes um, you feel like oh I don't want the ruler but this is called a lazy angle ruler. And it's somewhere between a 60 degree and a 45. Now, Julie Herman of Jaybird Quilts is one of the hottest designers out there right now. And so we do like to introduce the new designers to you so that you are not just stuck with one person. But she has also decided to create some new patterns using this ruler. Mm -hmm. So I did make up a sample. And it's on sale. Um the pattern's on sale, and the yes. ruler's on sale. Yes. So this brand, even though it's brand new, it's still on sale. That's right. Let me help and, you this. But this is just an example, and, and Kathy did order a few more of her patterns that use this ruler. Use this ruler. Not so just, just this now, this, I'm not teaching this, but this is called, <laughs> another hugs and kisses. But yeah. I, I used some um, of my browns, kind of created a nice masculine quilt here. This is a pattern that also uses... This, this lazy ruler. angle ruler, and it's a great way to use up your scraps or a jelly roll. And Kathy is going to have several of these hugs and kisses 
patterns available for class. And another, uh, and another a couple one. of patterns, yes, really, several that patterns. will use this ruler. So that you will not feel like you've just bought a ruler for one class. However, we do have one issue with this ruler, and that is, believe it or not, we're going to use it the front of it and the back of it. Interesting. So, it would have a tendency to slip. So, I'm going to show you a little... Um, Let's go over to the other camera. I'll, I'll switch right. cameras. So, Dorinda is going to show a product called Invisigrip. Invisigrip. And we have plenty of this here in the store, and I love it. I know that when our rulers get slippery, that a lot of times we will put dots or sandpaper dots or rubber dots or little Velcro things on the corners to keep them from slipping. But I ran across this Invisigrip, and it's, it's similar to a contact paper, only it doesn't stick forever. I, I had a scrap of this and needed to make this particular ruler non-slip, and so I just want to show you how easily that can peel off and on. Now, I did not cover this entire ruler because I ran out of Invisigrip at home. But <laughs> you can get a roll of this, and uh, I've been promised this is 50% off. Is that right? I think it's going to be 50% off. Amy, oh, but, yeah. we got to tell Amy, this needs to be 50% off. This is Invisigrip. Well, okay, is Amy watching. She's going to have a stroke. Yeah. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you the easy way to know how much to to put on, you know, to cut of this for your ruler is to literally lay your ruler on the Invisigrip. Kathy, could you hold that back for me? Thank you so much. And you can see that with the rotary cutter, hello, this is way high. My shoulders are in my ears, <laughs> so I'm not getting a good We cut have here. the table up in the sky It's right very now. high. Yes. It was very good for Brooke, but it's not good for cutting. <laughs> this is purely for our camera angle. Sorry. But I just wanted you to see that you cut your um, Invisigrip, you see, the exact size of your ruler. And then you can apply it perfectly, and it's going to fit perfectly. And so before class, I'm going to need for you to have two of those pieces, one for the front and one for the back. But the delightful thing is once it's on here now, it is not slipping. It's not going to slip anywhere. But you see how I can still see through it? Yes. And so if I'm going to be using the ruler sometimes with it facing up, this particular pattern, this is why this is more I would say more intermediate to advanced. This is why we've labeled it advanced is because if you're directionally challenged, please don't come. <laughs> because on um, part of the cutting, you have to be able to read. You know you're right side up. You do some cutting, and then you have to flip this ruler over and use the back side for another cut. So this is why we need both sides to be non-slip. So this is why the Invisigrip is a product that I just wanted to show you so that you can um, use it not only for this, but, you know, once, let's just say that you're, you're, you're done with this ruler and you want to use it on another ruler, well, then all you have to do is just peel it away, if you can see it, right? Is just peel it off of here and put it onto another ruler. So it's actually usable several times over. Yes. But the so, original so use that we're using the ruler for is for taffy, right? Yes, taffy. this is for taffy. Now, this is my old lazy angle ruler, which you can't even get anymore. You get the new one. Jumbo. The big one. Lazy Oops, angle. I knocked it Jumbo off. Jumbo. That's lazy right. Angle. So this is what your ruler will look like. Yes. So, Very good. And being uh, directionally challenged, I'm now crushed that I can't come to your class. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kathy, I, I would stand next to you and help a whole oh, lot. okay. I promise. I promise. It will be hands-on all the way. Okay. Right. So, um, and something else that you will really uh, look at in this quilt in Taffy that we mm. have not ever really done a lot of, and this is matching. You see how perfectly these intersections match. So there are tips and tricks on how to match. You see, these. this is a 45-degree angle, and this is a lazy angle. And so that's not the same. And these are 90-degree angles. So somehow they, you, there are ways, little tips and tricks, to create beautiful intersections and this optical illusion of all these circles going on and all over the place. And this is called Taffy. And Taffy. This Everglow was probably the most popular line, so we restocked. <laughs> And so I'm glad we saw it because it's now available for this quilt. This Everglow, um, it's kind of neon, the, the lions and the giraffes and the elephants. Uh, it is. But if you're thinking even a Christmas quilt, think about a Christmas yes. pattern here, red Ooh. and green. 
Yeah, I mean, absolutely wonderful. And Lolita Brown sent me a picture. I'll call out, holler out to Lolita. She is making photograph quilts for all of her grandchildren mm -hmm. and ch children and grandchildren. She has literally had photographs turned oh. into fabric, and she is putting them in this location here. Fine. And then surrounding them by the stars and circles. And we have the product that you can do that with. There you go. Yeah, the printed treasures or something yeah. is what the paper. Yeah. You run the, it's <clears throat> fabric backed with paper, and you can run it through your inkjet printer, and mm -hmm. it prints a beautiful photograph on fabric that you can sew into your book. Yes. Uh, Patsy is asking, are we saying taffy? Yes. Taffy. T taffy like the candy. Taffy, right? That's right. T-A-F-F-Y. -F -F yes. <laughs> okay. Amy Craig says, I just, I just love this new hobby. <laughs> yes. We create... Here at the Cotton Blossom, we create addicts. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that's the pattern. In case you and, were and we call we call taffy. fabric the gateway drug. <laughs> yes, it is so fun. It's uh, it's better than doing drugs, you know. Any uh, day, any day, right? Uh, it's a fun new hobby. But you know, yes. quilting, you know, here at the Cotton Blossom, and that's one reason why we um, have done so well as a business uh, because of you and the community. Now, sewing and quilting is an isolated sport, so come here and it won't be. You'll have friends to play with. Yes, so come and, and hang out with us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bring your toys to class, meaning your sewing machine uh, and your quilt, your rotary cutter, and we'll uh, we'll play together. So Taffy is what date? March twenty second or March twenty third? Okay, right. so you need the lazy angle ruler, you need a six and a half inch ruler, you need a twelve and a half inch ruler because those are big. Big, big squares, big squares. fussy cutting going on. There. Yes. So those rulers are what? On, on sale. sale. Oh, on sale. <laughs> I'm thinking I'll square, rectangle. No, <laughs> there you on go. sale. They're on sale. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're thinking about taking these classes, so that six and a half ruler, uh, that six and a half inch square ruler and the 12 and a half inch square ruler. They're you'll basics. Use, you'll use those yes. other places Absolutely. for sure. So Absolutely. get them while they're on sale. And then you need pins and forks and Invisigrip. Don't forget the Invisigrip. Uh, we will. I do want to show the fork pins. We'll throw that in there. When you're dealing, because we're going to talk about this in, in a little while with the triangle quilts as well. These fork pins look like your grandmother's hair pins. <laughs> that she used to have. Remember how we used to play with those? Yeah. And um, so it is a two pronged pin with a rounded center. And you can, can you see them in there. You can't really well, see them. Well, not really, not too well. Mm -hmm. And you can, well, yeah, you can a little you bit. Kind of see them yeah. in there. But this really helps when you're joining intersections that are not 90 mm -hmm. degrees. Um, and I've got some made by Magic Pins. That are fork pins that are on order that are coming. Okay. Oh, well, that'll be fun. Yeah. Fun. Yes. Oh, magic pins are. Oh, and these far these blue oh. headed magic pins. Yes, Hold I've that got that on all kinds the of camera. Motion. Put it the blue thing in the camera. See that? It's a rubber tip yeah. on this pin, and this one's a little bent. I just picked it up off the table, but it is so much easier for manipulating, picking up, putting in, taking out. I, and I don't know what it is. The older I get, the bigger the tips of my fingers and get. And you need the fine pins <laughs> when you do quilting. You and cannot these, use these. You can you can pick these up off the table. <laughs> these are one and three inches, and the key is it says fine on there. These are, and you can um, iron over them too. And they're mm -hmm. just see how they got their fingers on there. They're heat resistant and they're comfort grip handles, and they bend really well. They just. You know, when you're putting it in your fabric, it just mm -hmm. it just manipulates mm -hmm. um, easier. So these are our favorite, the magic pens. Yes. Okay, so that was taffy, and so we talked about the new ruler and the Invisigrip, and we are going to put that on sale. So if it's not on the website when you're checking out, just know that it will be on sale fifty percent off. All right. So the rag quilt. Okay, That's... so that is a whole different thing. Okay, so we've got we've got beginner quilting classes, but rag quilting is a great place to just oh, wow. When you talk about a stress reliever, it is. You're sewing X's. Let's show the rag quilt. Let's Everybody loves the rag quilt. All right, we we have two here. This is the big one. The big one. The big one. It's forty two squares, and you make your X and you what put a the great... lining in, or you don't have to. Because this is a springtime class, you might want to have a summer quilt. Yeah, and or just you have just have something like two to layers. Cover. Mm -hmm. yep. And that's what the baby one is, is two layers. And that is so sweet. Always flannel. It's two layers of flannel here. Yeah. And 
It's, it's square it's sewn much together. It's thinner. You, you can't tell from the camera, but it's much more lightweight because yeah. it's only... Two layers of two flannel. Layers. Two layers. But you can Not still get a beautiful rag and a beautiful seams that stand up, even with two layers. And so, it's really great. It's one of the beginner classes that I teach. <laughs> very beginner. Very beginner. So that is April the 13th. Yep. So what do you need? You need your sewing machine or to rent a sewing machine mm -hmm. and the rag snips. And that's the thing that you're going to be using for hours. Over and, over. <laughs> and your hands will love you for these rag yes, snips. Yes, yeah. they absolutely will. You could use regular scissors, but your hands will not be happy. No. no. If they will blister. Yes, mm -hmm. and you need spring loaded. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. That That's is what the these key are. to those scissors. So these are on sale. They are. These are on sale. Ooh. Mm -hmm. that, and so you're snipping all of your seams. Rag quilting, uh, Brooke did two rag quilt classes last month. Both of them were full with a wait list. So she will do it again April 13th. Just know that if you do not sign up for it, there will be a wait list. So if you're at yes. all interested in doing a rag quilt, go ahead and sign up for the April 13th rag quilt class. Let me talk about briefly about our cancellation policy and our class policy. So if you're watching, it's important that you know that um, we do have a seven-day cancellation policy because all the pretty much all of the class fees go to the instructor. So we do ask that you buy our supplies from us. Get all of your supplies from us, okay? So we don't allow outside fabric because of that, because the class fees go to the instructor. So to keep our doors open, obviously, we want to sell things like fabric, rulers, that kind of stuff. A lot of this stuff is on sale this weekend, right? Right. right. Okay, so we have a seven-day cancellation policy, and that's to be considerate of our instructors. Um, so just know that we're not being um, mean. If you can't cancel, you can get a store credit if we can fill your seat. So we guarantee our instructors a certain amount of seats. And so if you sign up and you cancel the day before class, um, that's kind of not fair to the instructor. So we don't that we have to be the, the bad people because we want them to be guaranteed a certain amount of class students right. for their they classes. They work hard. They yes. need to be paid. Yes. So just know that our class we, every handout is on our website. So if you want to sign up for this class, all you have to do is go to the our website, click on the class, and the handout is there available for download. So almost all of our classes have homework. Not all of them, but almost all of them. You've got stuff that you want to do ahead of time. So you want to buy your supplies ahead of time, and you want to do your homework ahead of time. It's not a lot of homework. Don't stress out. Uh, but stuff. it's just kind of get your stuff together sometimes. And for Dorinda's classes, uh, it's very important. Some of the homework is very important. But if you've quilted before, you know that you got to be ready for class, right? Okay, so if you need to cancel, we understand. If you're in the hospital, we get that. We, we will we'll work, <laughs> work with, with you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the rag quilt class, that's April the 13th. And you'll need these scissors because they are on sale right now. Um, and so uh, classes are going to fill up. Special orders. Okay, so if these sell out and you want them, what do you do? Fill out a special order form. So you got to come in. Mm -hmm. So if you go online and say, oh, gosh, I needed those rag snips and I wanted them on sale and they're sold out, you can come into the store and fill out a special order form mm -hmm. and get your sale price and we will um, get them to you when they come in. Yes. Yes. So you can come fill out a special order form in the store. Yes. So we're happy to do that for you. So we have gotten all the way through March. Is that as far as we've gotten? April. <laughs> in April? Almost. We're into April. The special order form is only through next Friday. The special order form is only through next Friday. Amy reminded me. Yes. Okay. Um, Shirley wants to see the back of the baby rag quilt. And Amy says, Brooke is amazing. Oh, and Terry says, oh, I need to make that baby rag quilt. Yeah, this is a very satisfying quick project. Do you see quick project. how the squares just go together? But the seams poke up. The front. These are the seams, and mm -hmm. they're standing up. Mm -hmm. And you take your rag snips and just... And yes. snip them, put, put it in the wash, and it just turns out beautifully. Yes, Terry, you need to come make this for one of your grandbabies, don't you? Yes. That's yes, Amy. Next Friday, this is down price. It ends next the Friday. sale price is good through next Friday. Through so next you can still come in next week and fill out a special order form. After good to Friday, know. After Friday, good, after Friday regular good price. Good to know. Good to know. Okay, so let's get on to intro to quilt piecing, which, oh, we already talked about intro to quilt piecing. We did. That was in, eight, that's in April. And that will be um, the one-day workshop mm -hmm. for those of you that can't make the five-part series. The one row. Well, some people do both. They'll do the five-part series, and then they'll come do the it, intro to quilt piecing. It, you learn something new every time. Yeah, yeah. And know that each of these classes, um, if you've never taken a quilting class before, they're technique classes. So you will not finish this entire quilt in one day, obviously. Even no. though you're a beginner, you will learn to make the block. 
it's a technique class, right? Yes. Uh, and but it, you know, depending on how fast you sew, you can get a lot done in the rag quilt class. Mm -hmm. You can get a whole row done possibly mm -hmm. in the rag quilt class. Mm -hmm. All right. So starting in April, April nineteenth and twentieth, we have Tutti Fruity. Tutti Fruity. <laughs> sounds fruity. That's that's just sounds fun. Doesn't that's, it? it does. And I wanted to introduce you to our second book that we'll be using this year. This is called Jelly Roll Quilts in a Weekend. And this is written by uh, Pam and Nikki Lintot. We worked out of their books a couple of years ago. But they have a delightful way of approaching uh, quilting and piecing. This, I used a pink background. This year I tried to use a, a white background, a pink background, a gray background, a navy background. Navy. Yeah, just so that you can see how you can change the look of your quilt just by changing the background. So this was a uh, jelly roll that I had at home already of uh, batiks. And so using a four patch block and some sew and flip units here, the entire quilt can go together. So you get to, um, it's, it's, what is it? What is the level there? Confident, confident beginner. beginner. So we're back to confident beginner. So if you're looking for an easier quilt to do that has to get big bang. The camera. Oh, there you there go. I am. <laughs> okay. So um, anyway, this is the jelly roll. And I actually had enough of the jelly roll strips left over to do the binding as Ooh. well. So this was fun. So this is called Tutti Fruity. And you fun. need the six and a half inch ruler and the 12 and a half inch square ruler. Which are your basics. Yes. So it doesn't really require a lot of specialty tools. So that so. is fast and fun. So scroll through there and look at the picture it, for fast and fun because it is um, dramatically different than Dorinda's, but just as pretty. Did we do that one? Uh, yep. I'll show it in a minute. Oh, we're going to do that yeah, one. we're going to do that coming. one. It's coming. It's coming. There we go. Is this Tutti Fruity? So you Look. can absolutely use any any jelly roll that appeals to you. Isn't that fun? So that's a white background versus her pink background. It completely changes the look of the quilt. Uh, both equally gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, so that is in, Tutti Fruity is in the Jelly Roll Quilts book in a weekend. So you will want to get a jelly roll. And let's talk about fabric. So if we don't have fabric in stock today for these quilts, what's going to happen? We've got fabric coming almost weekly. Mm -hmm. So you can wait and see. It will be on the What's New section of our website, or you can come in to see it. But there's always going to be new fabric coming in. If you don't see what you want today, just hang around. But I can guarantee you we have lots and lots of fun jelly rolls right now. We do. We <gasps> really do. Yes. <laughs> some yes. of them I'd like to get a hold of and redo some of these samples. <laughs> like, oh, that's good. Okay, you want to go right. on? You want to do binding well? Okay, um, another class that people, people have trouble with bindings. It is yeah. hard uh, There's a saying that says to quilt is human, to finish is divine. So bindings is, um, it, I get asked for binding. I need to review binding. I do teach binding in my um, five-part series, Beginning Quilting. But if you feel like you would like to um review how you make your bindings and how to make them accurate and have nice square corners, have them um, fully it, filled and nice and neat. You know, it's like a picture frame it on is. your quilt. And if you have a beautiful piece of artwork and you put an ugly frame on it, you've ruined it. So the, right. the binding class is super important. And so I not only show you how I bring a little quiltlet from my house from the long arm so that you can just sew on that and practice. And then you'll try a, a regular and uh, binding that's turned by machine. Mm -hmm. And I will show you how to do a turning by hand. Right. And then I have all sorts of samples that shows you how you can put rickrack and flanges and all sorts of interesting little treatments. So because this is your final design element. Mm -hmm. yes. So if your quilt is boring, you can do something a little more exciting. Uh, on the edge, or if you just need to calm things down, then you have that option as well. There you that go. class is May the 4th. Yes, <clears throat> and we we usually teach it about once a quarter or once every four or five months. So and it, it will fill up. Yes, so please come. Binding, that's, well, that's called Binding Well. Binding, binding well. well is May the 4th, and so that is a quilting holiday. It's also called Star Wars Day because May the 4th be with you. Have y'all heard that? It's Star Wars Day, May the 4th. And it's Robin's birthday. It's also my birthday. But <laughs> but ironically, you know, all the quarter inch, uh, the fourths, you know, quarter inch seam. Uh, so qu it's a quilting holiday as well because May the 4th, meaning in the quarter inch seam, quarter May inch. the 4th be with you. So binding is going to be on May the 4th for a reason. 
because, uh, you know, all things quilting need that quarter inch seam. Are we not? Right? That's right. What? Roxanne says it's her birthday, too. Yes. What? <laughs> Tina Clay and I share a birthday. Well. It's kind of fun. May the 4th is suddenly even better. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. So that's binding well. That's May the 4th. Sign up now. Uh, I can't believe that's so far away, but it's not. It'll be here before you know it. Okay. Aurora, this is my favorite quilt of the entire year. It's called Aurora. Let's see it. So this is Aurora. And this goes uh, with a layer cake, so we are Hold back, high, Mom. back into oh my this goodness. book again, Fast and Fun Lap Quilts. Yes. You aren't going to believe this. This is a nine patch setting because there are nine blocks, but it's the same block. What? And every single block looks different just because of the placement of the fabrics, the lights and darks and the peaches and greens and such. So you will learn this block. And we will be doing a square and a square wild geese units, some sew and flip corners here and here, learning to turn. You see the only difference between here is the way they're turned and where the lights and darks are placed. It's really fun. And so we'll do a block in class and then we'll plan the rest of your quilt so that when you go home, you won't be stuck like, I don't know what to do next. Um, we actually bought these layer cakes and Kathy um, ordered them twice. They've sold out twice. So we don't have any of this particular layer cake in the store, but what we do have, and we'll be getting more, we will be getting more, but you can find these uh, apricot green and gray colors go together quite well for this quilt as well. So um, then of course I put it on my favorite fabric in the whole store which is the grunge that has the little bit of turquoise in it. I don't know what you call that one. White, yes. white something. Well, go to the, go anyway, to the camera. You can see it. Go pull it up It's the It's just my favorite. It is a... It, um, there it is. You can see the grunge. Wait, where am I pointing? There. You can see the grunge. See how the, the grunge pops in here with a little bit of turquoise. Anyway, I love that one. And then because I had hummingbirds on the back... I quilted hummingbirds into it. So this this is a sweet quilt. This is my favorite. This oh is gosh. a sweet quilt. Can but it is whole, it is listed as a more advanced class. So I love the crisscross. There's so much motion in it. Yes. And it's uh -huh. all created just by how do you use your fabrics. And so um, I do love to share that with people. And you learn from other people's fabrics when you come to class. And you didn't have to buy all of it yourself. So... That's, That's another bonus to come to class. <laughs> you see how everybody else's fabric behaves. It's called Snow White. Oh, this this background. Oh, it has a name. Snow it has a White. name. Snow it's White a grunge. grunge. Yeah. It's a grunge, but it has a little turquoise in it. Yeah. I love it. How funny. We all try and be Snow White here at the Con Blossom. <laughs> <laughs> Some days I'm the witch, but you no, know. No, <laughs> you're just kidding. May, May 17th or 18th. So remember, we have a Friday option and a Saturday option for a lot of our classes. So Aurora is May um, 17th or 18th. And guess what? Six and a half inch square ruler and 12 and a half inch square yes. ruler. Uh, here we go. I mean, the, we've this is four or five classes now that you need the six and a half inch and the 12 and a half. And then the sharp pins, the blue magic, the uh, magic pins, the blue ones, you need shirt. those again. Mm -hmm. And so you need a high volume layer cake and background for that quilt class. That's somebody, May 17th somebody or just brought me some, the magic fork pins. Oh, we got We've them. got some, look. How, how cool is that? Can you see how there's it's two forks coming out of it? You can see right oh, there. With the, you, yeah, that's a good sample. They, they have it in the plastic one, one right the above top. the container. Mm -hmm. You can barely Why? see it. Why Why might have to get me some of those. There you two. go. All right. Okay, Picket Fence is in June. Okay. I, I must tell you, I'm I'm thrilled about picket fence. Now, yes. I've shown you some rather some some advanced mm -hmm. techniques. Mm -hmm. Some people don't want to come to those classes. Some people do. Right. So this is why we offer classes all the way from beginning level to more advanced. Right. We want to help everyone improve their skills and have a good time. But I have discovered a new designer this year called Busy Hands Quilts, and we are actually going to do two from her line. And the first one is called Picket Fence. I love that pattern. I, I can't believe how wonderful it is. It is I, I know. Great so Picket Fence starts with a layer cake. And what you can do with it is amazing. Amazing. And I've already made four of these. So I want to show you the one, the class sample here. This is done with a K-Facet Classic Rainbow Layer Cake. So how fun is this? Look at all of these wonderful, wonderful blooms. And they're in just multicolored 
prints. And so you get to put your 10 inch squares right here and cut up a few there. Her pattern is written for all sizes plus table runner. So you have so many options. It's unbelievable. Look at the colors in now, this sucker. Now, wow, one that gorgeous. I'd like to show next is the little one. This is the size we'll do in class. This takes a full layer cake. Mm -hmm. And then I went playing around in my scraps of little boy type fabrics because I wanted you to see it on a navy background. So this is the same quilt, just with some little bright, happy little boy stuff on a navy background. And then after that, I was like, oh, wait, I think I can e make this even faster. Look at this. It's Cowboy Dan again. <laughs> I'm a rootin' tootin' cowboy. <laughs> this, is, this is my daughter's favorite book when she was small. And so with the panel, these are 10-inch squares printed on the panel already. I'm like, yes, that will do. And so I put the nine in the the using a nine patch sort of grid um i think i'm sorry robin i don't want to no, you're you in good, the face. You're good. um but by just using one of the um cowboy prints here and the fort in the center and then i used the um fence color here to make a fence and that's cowboy dan this is the same pattern but this is a simplified way to do it so there's the little this. cowboys on the back and the, the lassos around the edge. But what I've done is I've done a handout so that you can get an extra handout in class so that you can do this uh, even quicker than piecing these little pieces. So I just adapted the pattern a little bit. I can see so many panels that have squares that you could make this quilt out of. But what excites me is this is 10 inches, right? Mm -hmm. What about the, the new one, Besties? Mm -hmm. You already have your cats and dog pieces mm -hmm. already cut out. Oh, this is hard for me because I don't do pets, but most of you do. So this is cats, dogs, um, what, fish? Rabbits. Rabbits, hamsters, whatever. And it, hamsters. It's, the work's already done for you. A 10-inch square, and you're doing 10-inch <laughs> squares. So... This is the easy ones. Picket so, fence. Picket fence. Picket, fence. picket fence. picket fence. Don't miss this one if you want June to. June 14th or June 15th. June right. June 14th or 15th. And this is beginner. Beginner. Absolutely. And fun. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very, very fun. fun. Very, very fun. fun. Very fun. So the pattern's on sale. And is there a ruler? Picket for fence. Uh, well, I think it's just your 10. Oh, yes. The 10-inch perfect 10 ruler is very, very important when you're working with layer cakes. Ah. I have one right here. 10 inch, the, it's not just a 10 inch square, it's a perfect it's called 10. It's a perfect 10 because not all layer cakes are created equal. So I come from the factory and they have ruffly edges and it gets confusing. Are you a square or not? So this helps very much. Not only can you square up your 10 inches, but they have your basic pre cut um, extra lines on here. Like, for instance, boy, this is so confusing to go backwards. This is the five inch charm square. You see that's marked very clearly. Here's the two and a half inch squares, which is an increment we use quite a bit. And then of course you can see that you don't have lots and lots of eighth of an inch increments on here. So very often I will use this when I'm cutting for um, half squares and full square um, units. And of course it's created grid, so it's non-slip on the back. Kathy showed me this ruler some years ago, and I, I love it. This tripology squared ruler really helps as well. Yes. Yes. If you're cutting multiples, anytime you want to cut multiples, uh, using a tripology ruler um, to do that makes things so much faster. And I will probably demo. We've shown you the large one. I don't think I have a tripology squared one up here with us, but it is on the back table. But you can do the same thing. It's Absolutely. the same idea. You can do it with this one. But it's got, these are grooves, and we've demoed this so many times that we didn't even open one. But these are grooves, um, and you can see it bends because there's slots cut in here for you to do well. Yes, and anytime you do any subcutting, um, I will demo all that, of course, in class, and, mm -hmm. and you'll, you'll want one for this, sure. Yeah, this is the Stripology XL. It's on sale. Is this one on one. sale? Yes, Ooh, it is. Ooh, now this is the big one. You see how big this is? Um, but there's, is there three different or two different stripology rulers? There's, there's, there's the, at least the, three. This is the XL. XL. Then there's the stripology squared. And then we showed you earlier the mini. The, the mini. mini. The mini. I will be using that on strip twist. Strip twist, you'll need mm -hmm. the stripology mini. So strip twist is this quilt behind us. That's right. So that's what this is for. Mm -hmm. 
So if you're it's, a, invest, it's an optional, but highly recommended. Highly recommended. So what's yeah. one of those things that Dorinda gets zero commission for selling this stuff? She just loves she just this stuff. Yes, and so there are a lot of options in the ruler world, are there not? Mm. Whew, a lot of options. And so we have narrowed it down. Dorinda has narrowed it down. And Rook has narrowed it down. Marlo has tested it and narrowed it down. Everybody has um, several that they prefer, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Definitely. And there's a reason why. There's lots of reasons. We won't dive into that, but just know they're better. Okay. Those are the stripology rulers. All right. What's up next? Triangle time. Okay. So we're going to go from beginning quilt, which the happy, happy one, the picket fence, to one that's a little more difficult. But I must tell you, a little more advanced, I should use that word. Mm -hmm. um, this is called picnic time. I call it triangle picnic time, so you'll understand what it is. But this does come out of the book that I showed you earlier, Jelly Roll. And so you will learn to make the strata. You will learn to cut. The ruler that's required for this one is the large 12 and a half creative grids. Please no other brands. That just confuses things because they're the increments are marked differently. Mm. And so I've asked that you please bring this one to class. But when, when you begin quilting, you just want to learn squares and rectangles and stay within that shape. However, at some point, you need to branch out into the 60-degree triangles because one 60-degree triangle is a triangle. But when you put two together, you can see that you get a diamond. Then when you put four together, you've got a triangle again. Now, when you put six together, that's when it really gets fun. And I'll show you some really wonderful trip, tricks and tips on how to line these up. We're, we're sideways, but I guess that doesn't matter a whole lot. <laughs> and you've got a And what's going to happen is I've done a little addition. Um, if you sew the way I say instead of the way the author says, you get scraps. You get really fun scraps. And then you can have some back art. So I'm going to show you if you get 24 pieces. We've added a hexagon on the back wow. of this quilt. So you have some wonderful back art. And if you only get 12, I'll show you how to make star with it. So it's amazing. Absolutely amazing what can happen with this shape. I love a 60 degree shape. So if you've not been introduced to this before, this is a perfect class to experiment and have a good time. And we will use those fork pins again because we do have joinings of some unusual angles. But with pressing, little spe uh, special pressing tips, you can get these wonderful intersections here without lumps and bumps and... Um, Ooh. Yeah, it works. That's a big deal. You need, that's is. in July. Yes. That's the summer. So you need that is the, the summer. Is um, this what you call Y seams? No. No. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. Yay. Well, I like them. No Y seams. <laughs> Woohoo! No, nope, not Y seams. They are actually constructed in rows. So you need the 60 because degree. Because the triangles fit together. Yes. This way, then this way, then this way, then this way. It's oh. kind of amazing. Oh. Yeah, so they go so together in rows. Straight seams. Yeah. Straight seams, but where you join row to row. You want to, you know, be careful. Make them line to up. Make, yes, yeah. absolutely. That's jelly roll quilts in a jelly weekend. Jelly roll quilts in a weekend. And so I call this Here triangle is. picnic time. How fun. I mean, this poor lady's head's covered up. But do you see? Um, it makes a great uh, boy quilt, right? So look how fun that is. I love the, that. In the boy colors. So that's one thing that um, we, we changed the name to triangle picnic time so that we could remember what that looks like. July 19th or July 20th and you need the 12 and a half inch 60 degree creative grids rulers and right. Brenda That's says creative grids right. only, only please. Mm -hmm. All right <clears throat> and she used the Tula Pink um, basics, basics jelly roll mm -hmm. so that did very well. Uh, but we've got some beautiful jelly rolls that would do mm -hmm. just as well. Mm -hmm. So, so jelly come, rolls is the, shot. obviously with jelly roll quilts. So this book is on sale and then of course you need background uh, but she also suggests that you need the two and a half by twelve and a half inch ruler and oh, the six and a half by twenty four inch ruler. This is this is the for that class. She's grabbing this. Yeah, let me just show that. For okay, just a second. Sure. The, the perfect ten ruler that I showed you earlier that 
because not all layer cakes are created equal. Well, not all jelly roll strips are either, mm. depending on who's the manufacturer. Mm-hmm. And those little fuzzy things on the edge. Yes, yeah. yes, and you get them all over your clothes. Mm-hmm. But anyway, you get you get small ruffles, you get tiny ruffles, mm-hmm. you get no ruffles, you mm-hmm. get strips that are sometimes too wide, hopefully not too small. But we have found that if you do just a little prep work, with one of these type of rulers, we have two different brands. We have a Creative Grids and we have a Select. But these rulers are exactly two and a half inches wide, 12 and a half inches long. So you can literally lay them onto your strip, trim the edges, and then you have a straight edge to work with. Yes, and you don't hallelujah. have to worry about is it the inside or the outside mm-hmm. of the zigzag Where does my that quarter lines inch up? Go? Yes. Right. So I just have to highly recommend these. Besides, they're fun. They're little. They're easy to handle. Mm-hmm. So I, I use them for lots of things mm-hmm. once I've got that going. One's a quilter select and one's creative grids. Both, mm-hmm. both equally fabulous. So that, the quilt we just talked about was triangle time. Triangle picnic time in the Jelly Roll Quilts book. And that's intermediate. Uh, and those three rulers are very helpful. Um, and then we're moving to August. Can you believe that we're talking about August already? These are with these quilts that if you don't sign up now, you don't get your books now, you're gonna, um, you might miss out on the classes filling up. So for example, that class is completely full. Um, but this is not. This is rolling around. And look at this black background. This one was so much fun. I had had all these wild boutiques at my house. and didn't know what to do with them. So this is called Rolling Around, and it's it's by the same lady who did the picket fence. And this takes a layer cake. And obviously, you can see that you're going to start with a layer cake here, snowball the corners off. That's that sew and flip method again. And then you're going to do some dividing. This is where the Perfect 10 ruler works so well because you're going to split a layer cake. You can see that this piece is used several times in the quilt. And then you frame those up, believe it or not. This is two blocks. I love the motion. I love the activity. We have some fabulous batiks. Um, Brooke, could you possibly look over there in that stack and hand me the Venice and the batiks? Right. And I, I just must tell you, having this black background is so much fun. You can just go dramatic. Ooh, this me. is the new, yes, Ooh, the new Venice. This is new. Florence, that's that so would fabulous. Be gorgeous on a black background. Oh, it oh, would. Oh, my goodness. But this yes. is your chance to use a large scale, crazy, crazy, wild, bright layer mm-hmm. cake. Yes. And just have fun with it. Uh, and here are some batiks so that you can see how vibrant the batik colors are. Gorgeous. And no matter what the textures. I love how they uh, they fold. You can see every color in the layer cake mm-hmm. on this one. I like manufactured that. as well. And then this is uh, bias stripe binding, which is one of the things that I will uh, teach in class, but also in the binding class. I May the fourth is the binding class. Yes, so so that that's covered there as well. Anyway, lots of sass, big impact, easy rolling around is beginner, beginner, beginner. level, beginner. I mean, level. this is literally beginner. I would. I think there's a lot of people that are, are going to want to do that quilt. Have you done it in other colorways? No, not, not yet. yet. <laughs> not yet. That doesn't mean I won't. <laughs> Just wait. But the black, I love. The, but it would look completely and, different. And we have navies here, and we have dark grays. Yes. If you're not into black itself, yes. you know. So you got. And then of course you can just go crazy on the, on the back on the too back. as well. Yeah, so I just love that binding. Diamond punch. punch. Diamond punch is in September. We're going to do September and November, and then Marlo is going to show the new uh, magnetic cutting mat. So, diamond punch and puzzle box are the next two. Okay, so now so we are pretty. back into the jelly roll book. Ah, back to the same book. So, Drenda does yes. a great job um, protecting your pocketbook, and so she'll do multiple quilts from the same book. So, if you invest in this book, know that you will get a lot out of You'll it. You'll get three quilts. Three quilts. Wow. Most quilts are a straight setting, but I like every year to include a quilt that is on the, on the on point, is what they call this. And so you've turned your straight blocks so that they look like a diamond now. So we have four patch blocks that are framed with darker colors and four patch blocks that are framed with your background. When those are sewed together, and this really freaks people out when they first, you know, assemble their first quilt and they assemble it this way. <laughs> yeah. from corner to corner. I get all kinds of text messages. Is this right? <laughs> and the answer is yes. And so you'll need special T 
tips on these setting triangles here, different ones for the corner and for the edges. So this is just a, a very, very good opportunity to learn how to put a quilt on point and be successful without it being too difficult. I think this is just a medium level. Great. That's called and, diamond punch. Right. Um, and because I used fall colors, we put it in the fall, but oh. that doesn't mean you can't use the acorns brighter. and leaves. Look at the acorns and leaves. Oh, that's that fun. That was a fun pattern. Pretty. Just because it's in the fall doesn't mean, mean you can't do the fun uh, bright colors as well. Uh, so this is a jelly roll, and this is the book. Yes, we have these in stock, jelly roll quilts in a weekend. There's three different quilts we're doing out of this one book. So that is, it's called um, fruit punch in here. Right. This, I couldn't call it fruit punch with my fall fabric. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so we called it diamond, diamond punch. punch. And that's jelly quilt, roll quilts. These are on sale, these books. And this uses the 12 and, a half, 12 and a half inch square ruler, the Stripology XL. So the big Stripology ruler. Right. Yes. Big Anytime you're jamma. doing sub cutting, you're going to want one of these. Stripology XL. It's on sale. And then um, the eight and a half inch square ruler. So those square rulers, you just use them yes, in all kinds of places. We've got all sizes on these square rulers. Um, eight and a half is a basic. Mm -hmm. I like to use the ruler that is the size of the block. Talk yes. about easy to trim and square them up. Mm -hmm. If this is an eight and a half inch block, you use an eight and a half inch ruler, you are good to go. Much easier. So much. Okay. That is, so Diamond Punch is confident beginner as well. Yep. Okay, September 13th or September 14th. Go ahead and sign up for that. Puzzle Box is November. Now, October, we ah. haven't talked about because that's Christmas. Christmas. And what we've tr done for the last few years is to wait for the new lines of Christmas fabric to come out. Some of the newest patterns mm -hmm. come out so you get the hottest thing mm -hmm. off the market. It has worked very well for the last couple of years. So it's a little of... extra work and we get a little stressed. But, I mean, the Christmas <laughs> present quilt was a total success. Everybody's enjoyed it. So this is what we will do for October. So take a breath. Rest easy. We will come to you with a perfect Christmas quilt yes. before this is all over. Yes. And the last one of the year is Puzzle Box. Yep. Now this one heads toward the more modern look in quilting. And this one uses a layer cake, believe it or not. It doesn't look like a layer cake. Oh, hold but it this up. Comes, you this see comes it. out of this book again. The Fast and Fun. This is the third quilt from the Fast and Fun lap quilts. Look now this is. one is literally a puzzle. You see how it looks like chain links? And the way that you cut your layer cake and the way that you lay them out is how you get the links. I just, just love this. I've put it on a gray background so that it's very modern. Could go in anybody's house. I know Robin's over here going, me, 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 me. But if you'll notice the binding as well, you're going to use a slice from your layer cake and you actually have a piece binding that goes all the way around and uses all the colors that you've used in the center. As you plan on this one, it is um, a more advanced quilt than picket fence and rolling around. And you've got to be able to place these pieces. Uh, one of the supplies that I put on there was actually a little flannel board. Uh -huh. So you have a little preparation to, we do carry white flannel here at the store. And you would need a board and buy some white flannel and, and bring that to class in order to keep your pieces just right. Those of you who've made puzzles, you understand. So... Um, I was just really thrilled at the way this one turned out. Mm -hmm. That is called Puzzle, Puzzle Box. Box. So that is in this um, Fast and Fun lap. This is the third from this book. And so look how it is. I mean, it'd be adorable for a baby quilt. It's just um, Well, more... I love the idea that it's a good man's quilt. You know, it's, Ooh, it's a lot of times yes. it's hard to find a quilt for a man. Mm -hmm. Yours, is, but this masculine, is masculine, yes. geometric. Right, yeah. mm -hmm. right. That's November so. 8th or November 9th. I cannot believe we are talking about November. <laughs> but that is the Perfect 10 ruler again. So the Perfect 10 was for because rolling we're around. Because we on layer cakes. Yeah. That's so, right. Yeah. So Perfect 10 for rolling around. Perfect 10 for puzzle box. Perfect 10 for other. Any of the layer cakes. Yes. Yeah, so if you quilts. buy these rulers, know that you will use them 
Oh, multiple, yeah. multiple, and they're all year and beyond. I mean, really. five years from now, you'll be reaching for these rulers mm -hmm. because they're so useful and basic. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. All right. I'm so done. So, if you have any questions, we have more to show. <laughs> if you have any question, we have a handout. So you're welcome to come in and say, "Okay, I know I want these three quilts. I know I want these six quilts." Uh, and you're like, "What ruler was it that I needed for that class?" Um, of course, online. If you go to our website, you can download the handout, and it will tell you everything you need. But we have a cheat sheet. So tomorrow, if you come in person, you will get this cheat sheet that says, okay, if I want to sign up for Aurora, it is May 17th or 18th, it's advanced, and I need six and a half inch ruler and a 12 and a half inch square ruler, and I need blue magic pens, and I need a layer cake. So we're, we're getting you organized. Yes. This is all in a synopsis here if you need it. So you're welcome to stop by. And so these sale prices, uh, these things will sell out. The classes will fill up. You will want to go online after we're done with this presentation and sign up for these classes because they will fill. And we may or may not do uh, another session. So if you, but if you want to put yourself on the wait list, it's possible that we could do another session. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and sign up now if you know you want to come. And just know that we have a seven day cancellation policy. So if you want to um, uh, cancel, be sure and do it seven days ahead of time. Yes. Yes. Uh, special orders on out of stock items. So I, I can see that some of the stuff is actually selling out online already. If it's out of stock, it's okay. We will still honor that sale price. You just got to come into the shop and fill out a special, order, out a form, special order form, and we will uh, save one for you when they come in. Right. When you pay for it, uh, and we will special order you whatever you like. So like the Farm Girl Vintage, we, we know you're going to want this. We put it on sale. So to get your sale price, you can still get it uh, if you come place a special order because right. these are back ordered right now. You can't get them. And there's a few other things that are back ordered uh, that we will want that you can see if you're looking online. Um, and this, there's a link in the listing to this video of all the things that are on sale. It's all in one nice little place. And there is a link to the classes, and it's all in one nice little place, right? Right. right. Yes. Um, I have some other classes that we are going to do here at the Cotton Blossom. So this is all the quilting classes, and Marlo is going to show the most amazing um cutting mat. I'll let her show that next and then I'll do two giveaways. I've got two giveaways to do before we end this broadcast. So hang tight. <clears throat> hang in there everybody. Must be present to win. We have been live for an hour and 45 minutes. This Ooh. is amazing that we still have um, all of you watching. Uh, and if you're watching later, rest assured that we can still get this yes. stuff for you. So no, no worries. But the classes will fill up. That's the only caveat. Okay, let me change the camera over. All right, Marlo, what do you have here? I have the new Sew Tights Magnetic Cutting Mat. Let's start with the, the first thing is, is it's really heavy. <laughs> it mm -hmm. is. So you can carry this, and it didn't even bend. Oh, oh, I was surprised bend. at how yeah. it felt For, when you picked it yeah. up. And it's dark and light on one side. On the other side. And look, so. the rulers are on here, and they're not falling <laughs> off. Woo. You lifted it up. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing moved. That's impressive. <laughs> so it comes with the cutting mat and the six, six and a half inch by 24 inch ruler that has these built in magnets for it. And so it helps with holding your ruler tight. So you get your ruler right where you want it. And then you just put magnets in place nice. and it makes it holds your ruler does it slip you can still move it it's not that it's unmovable but then you can line it up they are also going to come out with more rulers with built-in magnets but here's the great thing about it it doesn't have to be a ruler with built-in magnets mm. This it is your it. Quilter Select ruler, right? Right. This is just Quilter Select. You can use it with Stripology. You can use it with any ruler, and it makes it still. The more magnets you put on there, the firmer the hold. You can yes. use it with templates. You mm. can use it um, for anything. You can use it to um, square up a, a small quilt. Um, what about the stripology uh, rulers? Can you use the yes. stripology rulers on there? Yes. Look at that. That is the plague of a lot. Um, that is a pain point of a lot of quilters is that rulers 
move. Yeah. They slip. And so this solves a lot of pain points. It is on super duper sale. Okay, so you can't we can't tell how much it's on sale for because we will um, get in trouble. So if you want this, come see it and play with it because it was one of those things you think, oh, this is good for people who have dexterity issues and holding it still. Um, but I think it's good for everybody. We were all really excited about it. Once you play with it, it really does make you want one. It really does. Uh, it's very cool. And it. I want to say it, we have it on sale like maybe 50 or more dollars off the regular price. You cannot yes. find it. It's brand yeah. new. And um, because it's um, it's hard to find for one thing. It's back order. It's back order. So we can get, get you one. You have to special order it. Um, and it's so much, we have it so much on sale that you cannot order it anywhere else at this point. And it, because no one puts it on sale when it's brand new, but us, I'm like, what were we thinking? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's super cool. Um, we've sold a lot of these already because we debuted it at our, um, our tech party a few months ago, uh, but we didn't even have them in stock. So now we have them one to show and then we can get them for you. They are hard to get because they're so new. Um, so Carol Ann, good morning. Happy New Year. Just joining. I'm glad you're just joining. So Carol Ann, you've missed a lot. I, but you can go back and watch all this stuff. Or you can come tomorrow and you can uh, in person. It's $10 to come tomorrow and then you get a $10 gift card to the store. So it's free. Uh, but in tomorrow, you can actually pick this up and hold it and say, oh, wow, that's cool. You can play with it. Uh, or you can come in between now and next week uh, to order your special order stuff. And so the sale price we will honor through next Friday, but then it goes back to regular price. So you'll want to be sure and um, come special order your magnetic. What is this called again? So tights magnetic mat. So tights. And so is S-E-W, so tights magnetic system. That is a... Um, super cool new product. The Glow Ruler is another really cool new product. If you missed the first part of this presentation, Caroline, you got to go back and watch the first part of it because the Glow Ruler is so cool. Mom showed that. And if you're just joining us, I'm sorry. That's because I put a typo in the listing and it said that we were going to start at 1.30. So I'm sorry for those of you that um, are having to watch this later. But know that all the sale prices we will still honor from through next week. Uh, but here's the thing. Some of these things will sell out the items that we have in stock, but you can come and special order the things that are on uh, special. Rest assured, we will still honor the sale price. Um, we have some other fun stuff coming up. Okay, so this is all about quilting, but real quick, let me tell you about our new um, embroidery club. This is the Kimberbell Preview Day. We're having an embroidery club, and it is a 12-part series, and it will be virtual, but you can come and watch our virtual tips in, in store. Right? Yes. Um, and sorry, Mom. You're That's all okay. covered I'll, up. I don't even have to be here. I'll you're just... covered up. I'm sorry. <laughs> but the preview day is January 19th. So January 19th will be our free preview day. We will do a project. We will make this fun little project, this little keychain kit. We will do this in class. It will be team sewing. We supply the machines. We supply the leather. We supply the key rings if we can get them to show up in store. Okay, so this is a, Mom, I'm trying to, you got to move out of the way or I got to know what, I feel bad that you're covered okay. up. okay, I'll move. <laughs> I'm, I can't, it's like, you can't put baby in the corner. You know, I feel like, I feel really rude that we're covering you up. Okay, so the preview day is free. Okay, so if you signed up, I really need you to attend because we are cutting you a kit. And if you sign up for the club, okay, so this is going to, we're going to debut the, the embroidery club. Uh, it's all 12 months. And if you sign up, you get a discount on the year long club and you don't have to come in person, but you can and watch. It's a tips class and we'll have, uh, we'll, we'll uh, play this on Facebook and you'll get to learn how to make these fun things. This uh, keychain is what we're going to make. This is a preview day. So come, we almost, we have 30 people signed up so far. Uh, there's a morning session and an afternoon session and there are, uh, there may not be many seats left. Uh, so if you miss it, you can still come to our embroidery club. So if you cannot come to the preview day, it's okay because you can still do the embroidery club, which is a 12-part series. If you sign up between now and January 25th, 
you get it for a much lesser, it's much less expensive. Okay, so sign up for the whole year and you get all 10 designs, all 12 designs. There's 12 designs plus this bonus design that you get for free when you sign up for the whole year. And if you sign up for the whole year, you also get the kit to make this fun little keychain. So uh, big incentive to sign up for the year. Uh, and that is going to start um, January 19th. The preview day is January 19th. We'll do team sewing. So it'll be two or three people to a machine and we'll all have fun and, and we'll make the white part and then we'll make the brown part and then we'll sew them. Um, this month, this year, Kimber Bell Club will be all these projects. Um, there's a belt bag. If you have anyone, uh, if you've not seen a belt bag, it's like the fanny pack. It's the new fanny pack. We're going to make a belt bag. We're going to embroider a belt bag in one of the classes. We'll make a pillow. We'll make a pin cushion. We'll make a jar topper. We'll make a stocking. We'll make a pillow. Um, uh, really cute stuff. Okay. Uh, and of course, a mug rug. We always make a mug rug. Uh, but these are things that you can stitch at home. So you can watch our presentation. We'll give you tips and tricks and you'll stitch at home. Or you can come and watch the tips and tricks and say, well, now, what did y'all do here? So you're welcome to come in the store and watch us as we present. Um, the other class that's coming up that um, is the big deal is uh, Beginner Sewing 101. You make a pillowcase. So we've talked about all the beginner quilting classes. This is step one. If you've never sewn before, come to Beginner Sewing. That's January 17th. Debbie is going to do a so fun club. This is going to be super fun. So Debbie is known for the bag classes. So Debbie does all of our bag and tote bag classes. And she is going to do a so fun club. This is where you come. You pay $15 and she is going to teach you how to make the tote bag. Oh man, it's hanging on our door. Will you go grab the tote bag that she is going to show? The first one is $15.00. And you will get to get the instructions and how to make um, this tote bag. So Fun Club is like embroidery club that we've done in the past. And as you come and it's lecture demo and you bring show and tell. And if you bring a show and tell, like any sewing project, you get entered into the drawing for a gift card to the store that day. Uh, Lisa says fanny pack equals um, bum bag equals belt bag. Yes, yes. <laughs> Lisa knows what a fanny pack is. <laughs> uh, I remember when I was a teenager, we went to Disney World, and um, it's the multicolored one. It's the scrappy one. We're still missing. It's, it should be hanging on the door. Um, we, mom, mom wore a fanny pack when I was a teenager to Disney World. I was mortified. Mortified. Yes. <laughs> I, still do. I still do. And so <laughs> now uh, the fanny pack AKA belt bag is so cool. My teenagers, my you know, they all wear the belt bags. So if you want to be cool, come to our embroidery club. We'll embroider a belt bag. <laughs> Lisa says making one now. <laughs> uh, Amy says definitely coming to that. Uh, yeah, Terry, uh, it is now. Yeah, she Terry is. The, thank you, Amy, for answering the questions. Yes, here is the So Fun Club. This is the first um, session of So Fun. We have two classes to the so fun club is going to be we're going to make learn how to make this bag on february the third so sign up for so fun debbie's teaching this uh it's a scrappy bag uh she'll show you the instructions on how to make this in class you bring a show and tell we come and hang out for an hour and a half two hours and you learn how to make this we won't sit in class but you'll learn how to make it um in class it's a great little structured um tote bag and you can use a jelly rolls. Look how pretty it is with this K fabric. That's February the 3rd. So y'all sign up for that. And there's, we have two so fun clubs on the calendar right now. There will be more. So what's cool about Debbie's classes is that she will teach how to make this. And then she'll kind of um, segue into a real class. So this is her next real class. This is not so fun club, but she will talk about this is the Ella bag. Uh, and so this will be um, the next month. So if that's February, this is March. April, we'll do another So Fun Club. And then March, April, we'll do, I think we'll do, May, we'll do this um, purse. Is this not fun? She can show you how to embroider it. They're going to make the straps. Uh, and there's a way to embroider the strap. Uh, so if you want to combine sewing and embroidery, this is a great um, purse tote bag. Um, I absolutely adore this one. I definitely want her to put my and monogram on there. <laughs> and so those classes Debbie is teaching. So look on our calendar for that. Okay, this is going to blow your mind. This is our two-day embroidery event. It is February 23rd and 24th. This will be virtual. 
Or you can come in store and bring your machine. This will be different than our embroidery events that we've done in the past. You bring your machine, you bring your supplies. But in this uh, two-day event, you can stay at home and stitch it virtually. The instructions that Kimberbell gives and the kits that they cut for you are incredible. You can do this. Trust me. You could do this um, by watching this class. Um, and Lisa says, Debbie is so talented. It's so true. Debbie is so good. Uh, you can do this Easter tier tray. How cute is this? You get this um, three-tiered wooden tray in your kit. You get, there is a little framed picture. I don't know if you can see it. It's on the back side of that picture. Um, it's a framed, you get the wood frame. You get the fabric to make all of these projects. So in the two days, we will stitch um, six or eight projects. So you bring your machine. If you want to come hang out with us, you bring your machine. You bring your embroidery arm. Don't forget your embroidery foot. <laughs> In your, in your hoops, you bring all your stuff. We supply the kit of the fabric, and there are 12 different kits. Well, I think we'll stitch eight actually in the store or at home. You, as you're watching live, you'll stitch eight projects, and then um, you'll have four more to do at home later. These Kimberbell does the cutest stuff on the planet. It is, it is absolutely adorable. And you get this adorable tray in your kit. So this class is 189. If you come, we'll provide light snacks and light lunch and um, click on, uh, go on our website and look for the 23rd and 24th. You're going to want to sign up for this. We only have a few spaces because this is bring your own machine. So it's one person per machine because obviously you're sewing at your, your own machine. So we have less room for those of you that want to come in store. So uh, if you want that, you better sign up now. Uh, that's going to be so much fun. Lisa Santon is going to teach that. I think she's watching. Hi, Lisa. All right, so Lizette, <clears throat> um, not Debbie, this is Barbara Barbara McLaughlin, Barbara McLaughlin is going to teach this class. If you want an Easter dress for your little one, this is by far the um, cutest one we've done. She has not finished the sample yet, but um, the collar she's going to do with lace, and it's going to be gorgeous. So she's going to do an alternate to the Lizette that you will want. This is going to be a two-day because it takes a lot of time to ruche. She's going to do the collar, and that will take a little extra time. So this is a two-day class, and that will be March 1st and 2nd. This is the perfect Easter dress, is it not? Um, yeah, Elizabeth says that's so cute. I agree. <laughs> Lisa Sand Elizabeth Santon, that she is going to um, do our Kimberbell Club and our um, Kimberbell embroidery event, our two-day embroidery event. So if you've been to our embroidery events, this is a little bit different. Uh, you'll bring your own machine this time. But this is Lizette. This is um, Get Ready for Easter. Oh, Barbara's going to do a bonnet class. So those of you that have been asking for the bonnet, that's coming up as well. That will be before Easter so that you can make an Easter bonnet. Uh, so that's check out our calendar. Go to our calendar, and you can look. And this is on our calendar. You see where there's a classes tab. You can get all the information you ever wanted on our website, but come in. We're happy to sign you up in the store. If you're coming tomorrow, uh, know that we will have all this ready for you and you can purchase it tomorrow. All right, Dorinda, all right, Mom, are, is there anything else that we need to tell anybody? Not a oh, we have two more giveaways. Yes. I, yes. <laughs> Quilts of Valor is what Mississippi Quilts of Valor is watching. Hey, um, did you know that we're a Quilts of Valor store? We are. Mom, did you know that? Yes, I knew that. <laughs> Just messing with you. All right, so Quilts of Valor says, awesome. Um, we have fabric for Quilts of Valor quilts if we you do. want that. Yes, we yes. We do. And we support our veterans here in the store. Vicki says, I wish my daughter wasn't 41 already. <laughs> and Lisa Garitano says, adorable. Okay. All right, we are um, great year coming. Yes, I think that's supposed to say coming, right, Becky? <laughs> we have a lot going on this year. We have a lot of fun, exciting things. Come hang out with us at the Cotton Blossom. Uh, if you need a sewing machine, if you need an embroidery machine, we really do ask that you purchase from us. Uh, we do a lot here, and we ask that you shop local. I know you have a lot of choices in the machine world, and you can buy a lot of them online, but we do ask that you um, come shop with us because we can help you. It keeps us here. Yes, keeps our doors open so that we can have all these fun classes. And so we do ask that you buy our, your supplies from us. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> Vicki says, I just have grandkitties. 
<laughs> oh, I just have to wait on a future grandchild. Yes, Amy. <laughs> well, there's so much. Um, it's interesting, you know, those little girl dress classes. That real quick, Debbie, I mean, uh, Barbara teaches those little girl dress classes, and we had a person, and she's made two or three of these little girl dresses in anticipation of hopefully having a grandbaby. And guess what? She just told us that um, her daughter is pregnant with a girl. Oh. Yes. Oh. So all those dresses that she's been making all this time in the hopes that she has a baby grand, a uh, little girl. Um, it's she, happening. It's happening. So Good for uh, her. that's fun. So that's why we're here. All right. Two giveaways. Okay. So um, pick a number between um, 1 and 25. Me? Yep. 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Terry Brown Redman, you are the winner of a golden thimble. Oh, fun. Okay, super. All right, so Terry Redman, I've, I'll hang this. This will be here for you whenever you get a chance. Okay, one more scissor set. Let's give away this gorgeous class A. All right, this um, time let's set. do um, number four. Number four. One. Two, three, four. Amy Craig. Amy Craig, you are the winner of a brand new gold class A golden scissor set. So thank you for commenting. Thank y'all for watching. Uh, all this stuff's on sale. And we will see y'all in store. You're welcome to come in this afternoon. Come in next week. We're open tomorrow. Tomorrow morning, uh, Saturday morning, we're going to be a little wild and crazy because we will have 50 people here in the store. <laughs> Uh, and we will be doing the same presentation again. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're coming tomorrow, you get to see all this again. Yep. And uh, But if you want to come shop, tomorrow morning is probably not the best morning to do it because we'll be wild and crazy. Yeah. But um, come Saturday afternoon, come Tuesday. Of course, we're still closed on Sundays and Mondays. Mm -hmm. So come on uh, Tuesday through next Friday and you can still get the sale prices. Yes. Right? Sale prices. Right. Friday. Mm -hmm. Amy says definitely coming to that. Fun. <laughs> what else? We have answered everybody's questions. Thank y'all for watching. We have been live for two hours and five minutes, and we have covered a lot, except we did not cover the mini irons. They're on sale. We cannot forget the mini irons. So if you have a steam fast mini iron, those have been recalled. Don't don't get you any steam fast mini irons, but you can get a Dritz mini iron, and those are on sale. Everybody needs a little mini iron, right? And, and some of the classes, it's best to have this next to you, especially the paper piecing. Paper and, piecing. And the puzzle box. Oh. Unless you want to get up and down 75 times an hour, this is your friend. <laughs> yes. So we put these on sale, the little Dritz mini irons. And then, um, are these on sale? Uh-oh. I don't know if these are, but we have lots of sizes. If you don't have a wool pressing mat, you're missing out. Yes. This is the best thing ever. They are great. You can tote your ironing space anywhere. So get you one of those and a mini iron and come to class. Uh, we've got all the things you will ever need for class. Come ask us. We're a resource. If you have questions, come talk to us. We appreciate all of you. We do. Thank you for watching. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.